<laughs> What's going on, guys? We are here today for session 30 something or other of Lord the Caliber, everyone's favorite N64 game based RPG that the music doesn't get content ID for, so hey, that's great. We're down our rogue today. Our wizard is playing our rogue. Our alchemist's schedule has changed, so he'll show up a little late and be bought it until then. But Colin's back, guys. Xandu's here. He's done being in a psychic trance slash listening to Francis and getting volleyball punted all over the room. <laughs> so Joe will own the in character collection when he arrives for now. And Colin, mm, Colin, have you seen the last two episodes? Are you caught up? I am not. Yeah, fair enough. Well, your life has been about as hellish as mine, so you are forgiven and have a hero point. But I have... Full he also has been in kind of a psychic right. coma. What'd you say, Colin? I got, like, full HP for some reason. I don't know if that's right. You got some HP. No, hey, he's been... He drank healing potions when, like, the however long we had to rest. Okay, got it. All oh, right, God. so first up is Adam Kazaha in character reflection. For that hero point. <sighs> I don't remember seeing my much of my own blood in this night. <laughs> we will make it, perhaps, or die either way. Uh, can he will use it as not feeling super hot about his physical state at the moment, as well as how he's he feels somewhat responsible for the predicament, considering that he led them here. But it it wasn't this bad the last time I went through on it. So, <laughs> all right, take that much needed hero point. And next is Donald, what's up? Okay, what is going through Lucia's mind? Kazahan is not looking so, so good. So in character, Lucia is going to venture to the best of her ability. She is going to try to make sure Kazahan get out of this situation alive. Lucia like Kazahan and we, and we, and we, I cannot speak today. So Lucia, we 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 suspect Kazahan and don't want to see him uh, die in the tunnel seal. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Lucia, she have a heart for people who she actually likes and care for. <laughs> Fair enough. And for the record, guys, there was a time. There was quite a time here in the chat today where it was just Donald and Adam, just Kazahan and Lucia, and we came real close to just having them role play back and forth for three hours and find catharsis with each other. But then people showed up, so take that hero point, Lucia, and Kane, Francis, Root, take us home, and I guess real quick, uh, assume Enerling and Pogue both have a hero point. Joe will earn his when he gets here. I need to wait out. I need to wait out. I don't have the bloody spells for this. I've been beaten halfway across the room and back again. I need to wait out. That's all I got. He's in a borderline panic. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. Take that hero point, my friend. <laughs> And now... He's just a wee bit claustrophobic. Can't say I don't like being underground. Underground is very bad for your health, especially when your player helps me build this. Well, he didn't help me build it. He didn't sit down and build this death trap for you guys. That's not what I'm trying to put so, down. Oh, 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 right. Wait, who's who's to blame? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, oh I believe this is Adam's fault for hosting me around the hearth. <laughs> All right, so to bring Colin up to speed really quickly, because Colin's not caught up, you guys did find a way up those stairs. You've come upon, it appears to be like an ancient dwarven fortress back from the days when the dwarves still lived in the Darklands, and this was an outpost on their quest for sky moving out of the Darklands and onto the surface of Galerion. The place is pretty beautiful, not quite mithril, not quite adamantine walls, floors, ceilings, all really jagged as if, like, Picasso had come in and stone-shaped the place, because truly that's what's happened. The walls, the floors, the ceiling, all of the above have holes that are about big enough for, like, Pogue to get a short sword into, or, like, Enerling to, like, poke his fingernails in. And it would appear as if you guys have 
come upon a Gug hunting ground. You guys have been attacked by Gugs for like session on session on session. Excuse me for the burp, by the way. Kaza has pretty beat up technically. Zandu died and then Hero pointed to come back. It's been pretty hellish. There seems to be no way in. Well, there is right here on the board. There's a little passage, like you can see a little through there. It's like like about six inches through where the wall has been like stone shaped shut and it's the same story behind you you guys had moved in here like stone shaped that up and moved in and then the gugs who can apparently cast stone shape shut the wall behind you and started attacking really quick before we decide what the next move is i mm, let's get lucia to roll a knowledge arcana i was i was going to not shoelace this but we're gonna shoelace it lucia knowledge arcana Donald's dead. Hello? Oh, there he is. Uh, 33. All right, so you cast a teleportation spell within the borders of the Empire, and you didn't cheesecloth. You realize Wait. definitively Wait. that that means that the barrier around the Empire that prevents teleportation does not extend to the Darklands. So, so why am I teleporting? You are not. You cast Dimension Door. Had you cast Dimension Door on the surface, you would have died. You didn't die here. Oh, cool. Nice to and you, know. And you realize now you can teleport down here with no repercussions without, again, to, to describe it a third time, without running into a screen door going about 200 miles an hour. So could I teleport from the underground up to the surface, potentially? Make a knowledge or check. A knowledge arcana. Yep, if you would. Also, while Donald's rolling, uh, how long am I nauseated for? Is that indefinite? Um, I didn't know you were nauseated. You're probably That's you're. What my thing says. You're fine. You're probably nauseated from the trog encounter. A sixteen. Okay. I assume yeah. it's doable, but I'm not sure if I can. You do assume it a lot of things. You assume a lot of things. I will say that there's only one way to find out. That's what you get from a natural two. Anywho, the floor is yours, gentlemen. The Gugs have literally seconds ago after you guys tried to rest and you got not far enough to regenerate anything, like less than an hour, then the Gugs show up and start attacking you again and then they're doing basically hit and run tactics now. Camping in this room is impossible. You know they're still out there. They seem to just be toying with you at this point. Uh, Kazahan, you seem to know these tunnels well enough. Uh, do you know which way leads towards the surface or, or at least out of the hunting grounds? Well, metagaming wise, last time I rolled, uh, this was the closest exit. But in character, Hazaham would say, I don't think there are any things that are so f so near as the others. Uh, the, the, the one before was right there underneath the town. And that was where we got attacked by the troglodytes and all of that stuff. So it could be over there. I don't know. That would probably be the closest one that is near this one. Uh, Let's so are we think about stone Yeah, we are very. What yes, happened we are was, out of stone and and to, uh, another thing I forgot to bring up to Zandu is the trogs did track you to that column you slept in. Last you knew, they were down like you're about three hundred feet up from where you slept. They were down there looking for you, but to no avail. Uh, worst come to worst, I can use my heal point to get another use of us. Uh, yeah. Uh, use of uh, use of uh, use of stone shape again, if need be. But I don't want to use my hero point up if I don't have to. <laughs> you said you have, the last uh, time I came through here was this the only, was this the last door leading into somewhere, uh, the last part of the passage leading into somewhere, or was or was this just a place I knew about? Ooh, an eleven. You. You knew it existed. You've never been up here. 
I, mm, you'll say, I'll say the gugs are probably a new thing, not so new as you let one go and suddenly here they are, not like that. But gugs usually exist a lot farther down in the Darklands. You guys are on that first layer, you're in Narvoth, which is pretty tame compared to farther down. Oh so, yeah, you get down into orb, then you see things that are freaky. He's not wrong. I do believe you. Journey rules some when it comes mm. to diabolic circles. Journey, dark and creepy places have powerful creatures. You don't go there for for a good reason if you're unless if you are a danger thrill seeker type. <laughs> do I know that Lucia has cast a teleportation spell or was I too? You were here. Now? You were that's how you got like okay, what went down was you guys were uh there's a room like right over here. You were in there. Pug came in here, the Gugs stone-shaped it shut and started playing volleyball with him. And then we got through by uh, Lucia's dragon dimension dooring from in there to in here. Okay, so if that's the case, I would be able to make uh, similar knowledge checks to what she made about the Swiss cheesing. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm pretty sure you've told us in character exactly what would happen if we yeah. did this. Yeah, I, I would have uh, had told the party about about teleporting. Uh, yeah, we've talked knowledge. about it. Like, we talked about uh, teleporting Yumil to, like, straight to Igorian, but it would kill him. Xandu is also... Xandu realizes that we can teleport in the Darklands. It's... He doesn't necessarily realize it's because the, like, the barrier isn't... It's a dome, not a sphere. He doesn't necessarily go that far with it. But it seems safe, at least here. So we can teleport up, just not all the way up. That tracks. So do we know what's above us? Is it someplace safe? You Fucking guys don't. rocks and darkness. Mm. This is one idea. If we do rest up here for long enough, I can have my dragon teleport me and all of you to a level above of up above us. Okay, I want to make it exactly clear that you should have realized at the end of last session it is absolutely 110% impossible to rest. The Gugs will attack you. They'll be back in an hour. Or less. They'll be back. Like, really, the only thing that's preventing them from just ambushing you is the fact that Enderling will smell them. Oh, also, and on the subject of that, th th nothing new with Enderling. It has nothing new with him at all. This guy here, this little orange boy, he's a capacitor ears. We met him on the stairs, and he was supposed to be an encounter, but Francis made friends with him, and now he's following us around. Now Colin yeah. knows. <laughs> he gives yeah, off a, like, he's, he's essentially like a... A little nine volt battery ooze that puts off electricity, and he just kind of rolls. Oh, no, 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 no! He's much volts. scarier than a nine volt battery. He's a, he's ten nine volt. Batteries. He's a freaking floating live wire. <laughs> he's a floating yeah. car battery. He's like if a transformer gained sentience. Uh, what is uh, to the right, right of us, uh, east of Enderling? Uh, Again, that's a wall. a wall. Yeah. Okay. So, so it is just a solid uh, Correct. wall, yes, just like. So my plan is we go south southwest uh, where my cursor is. Okay. How would you like to do that? And does this lead anywhere? I mean, obviously there's a wall there, but I'll spend the hero point to get us through. There seems to be a little opening right here. Yes. I am thinking of having Paul mm, uh, scout us, scout ahead for us a bit. I cannot move Paul token. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot I to give you I forgot to give you um, guys control of that. And also, I will say, uh, I don't think I have to say this, but I'm going to say it. Pogue and Enterling, and well and truly, players who don't arrive can only ever use their hero points to cheat death in a situation like this. Yep, yeah, I'm uh, saving the hero point if something bad happens to Poe. <laughs> Got it. All right, Donald has control of Van. I mean, Pogue, okay, Van's sick. So, Zandu can make himself we can't... visible for eight minutes and then possibly use divination to find a safe space within teleportation distance. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'll go with Poe, because I am small-sized right now. You are. I am. But I'm a Kalthagar right now. I would need uh, people to guard me for the last two minutes of 
uh, divination because it takes 10 minutes and I can only be invisible uh, for eight. Uh, Lucia and the dragon can protect you. Uh, does, uh, so who's going with Poe? I'll go with him. Um, can you actually, can you make me invisible too? Uh, France for Francis, do you want me to cast protection from evil on you? It lasts for seven minutes. Well, if I'm scouting with Pug, I would rather be invisible because Pug has the ring and a uh, much better st- uh, stealth score. Uh, uh, I, I can cast a uh, cast that cast that spell on you if if you want me to before going invisible. On the subject of casting spells. I should note that everyone in the party knows, and Colin will know now because I'm bringing him up to speed kind of by saying this, that the fly you cast on the Abercorn Viper that's at the top of the tunnel because it couldn't fit in here has certainly by now expired, and the Viper is... Yep. It would have landed straight in the trogs. So it's probably dead. (laughs) You have no way of telling. You might have some way of telling. I'm not entirely sure how that diadem works. Mm. Knowledge, uh... Knowledge, we look up Abercorn yeah, Viper. How, how about just a general mm, intelligence? How about, how about no check? How about I'm gonna look up Abercorn Viper and see exactly what that gives you? Because it truly was just a random thing that I decided to give the party. Yeah, if the magic item does it, then we know. If it doesn't, then we have no way of knowing. It's down there with the trogs. Maybe it just murdered a thousand trogs. Maybe. That mm. thing is real scurry. It's very good. Uh, anyway, we should. All, all I can do is the Viper can find Poke. That's the only uh, connection. He will always okay, know. It's where real Poke scary, is. and it's down there. We don't know what the fuck it's doing. Let's move along. Got it. Yeah. Anyway, Poe. It may have left. Anyway, it may have left Poe, when we left. Poe began to uh, scout ahead whenever Francis is. All right. So Lucy someone will have to be uh, stone shaping the wall open first. All right. Uh, fine. I'll. I have I'll enough invisibility. Uh, I can invisibility Francis. And myself, I got enough for it. Perfect. All right. Let's do that. I'm invisible. He's invisible. I'm gonna spend my hero point to get stone shape back. I'm gonna open up this wall, and we're gonna go. Alrighty. Please be very, very descriptive on how you. Oh wait, you're all going. I think it's just these two. I'm not going. I can't. I I am in no condition to go to a frontline fight. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't uh, think we're going to a frontline uh, fight. Uh, we're zen, just, zen, zen, we're zen. sneaking around. Yeah, we zen. didn't. We didn't think we were going to a frontline fight in, either. Uh, Zan- 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 Zandu is uh, pr- is uh, doing the ritual, so dragon, so the dragon need to protect him. <laughs> All right. So, again, the person casting stone yeah. shape, be very specific. I'm going specific. to place my hands in the opening in the wall, and I'm going to get as much of the spell use out of the spell as possible. I'm going to make as wide a corridor as I can, and get rid of as much of this secondary bullshit wall as possible. Alrighty. I, I, I'm going to have my imp uh, go out as well. What, uh, can, can you shrink my my oh, God. token? <laughs> yeah, token? Give, me, give me a second. Let me do my it's thing. It's so big! Alright, so Francis, That's opens, a big imp. Francis opens up the wall. I shrink this bird down. Down birdie. It can only go that small. You'll have to use your mind to pretend. The wall opens up, and it opens up pretty wide. But it looks like you get maybe... I, the map's going to be real awkward because of the way it's made. You get perhaps, like, five feet in before there's another, like, pinch. My, my familiar, he is size uh, tiny, so can he go through the holes he could probably try to squeeze yeah okay so my imp will I'm gonna do liberate this token well it doesn't specify one piece of stonework does it i can move 18 cubic feet of stone right and you said you wanted to open it as wide as possible so you've opened right in front of you as wide as possible and then there's another break i didn't hear deep was the word we were looking for uh. so you guys have a five foot square in front of you but really the like the imp can go not necessarily everywhere, but it can fit in a lot of places. So my imp cannot go through the crack. Yes, he can. The imp Let's can. Poke. Yes, the imp can. Pogue can only move one square forward. Okay. So you guys have line of sight to some gugs. Those gugs are just uh, there because I moved Drag uh, my uh, imp token to the other side. I can't really move it to the other side. As uh, do do line line of sight. I can't see. So Pogue gets there again. You're gonna see well, gugs. Gugs wouldn't be able to get through that hole either. Especially large gugs. 
Okay, my imp, he would be have constant invisibility on, so he would be scouting as far as he can. He can move. Before. Let's have let's have before we move any further. And again, those gugs aren't all there. Don't all panic. I just the tokens are just sitting. Let's get a stealth check from Pogue. Let's get a stealth check from to from not from token from uh, the imp. Francis is off the board. Sees all the cocks that are just sitting there. Ah! Yeah, run right away. Anyway, here I am. And Francis see sees a lot of bad things. I don't have line. Of, well, I do have dark vision, but I don't actually have line of sight on the board right now. Oh, uh, rough. All right. So again, I need a stealth check from Pogue. Forty-six is noted. And I really wish the Pathfinder character seats are are actually better to operate. Yeah. Uh, you know what Francis is going to do? Uh, I'm going to get up in these interior walls. Because I can fit in there now, because I'm small. Okay, you can attempt to squeeze through the holes. It's it's going to be real rough, but you can try to get in there. You said a small-sized creature could fit in between the, the uh, false wall and the real wall. It can, but there's no opening to get there. Except for little holes for gug arms. So what about all that false wall I just moved with stone shape. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Fair enough. So what you can do is you have 18 feet across. I'm going to move a bunch of gug tokens that are somewhere, but not there because I don't want to just drop your tokens on top of like, here's 20 gugs. So... So many gugs. You can get... What I'll do... Such gug and much wow. Something like that. Let me really quickly... I am gonna make a little bit of new dynamic lighting. It can't be the same color as the board. I, I, I would assume Poe would be using the ring of invisibility, so that would be... No assumption here, my man. You're under risk. You have control of that guy. So, I do not know, know if Poe had the ring effect on, so I assume... You can turn it on if you'd like. Okay, he just... it back up. He made sure to say that. Okay, so uh, add a 20 on top of that, that ball. Got it. With the ring on. Oh, I did that bad. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to make more... Bo well, that's fine. That'll work for what we're trying to do. Okay, so Francis wants to move here. Your stealth checks are noted. Your imp can try to squeeze forward if you want. Okay, so uh, my imp goes through as far ahead as he can, so do I need to make any checks for that? Make an escape artist check. Mm, would acrobatics work or escape no? Escape artist. Okay, so that's she's going to fail. Mm, mm, fail pretty badly as I don't have a rank that oddly enough. <laughs> so total 10. Yeah, he can't squeeze through. It's really, 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 uh, really, really tight of a squeeze. He can't quite pull it off. There's nothing stopping him from trying again, but. And let's see. By the way, let me know when my eight minutes and my ten minutes are up. Okay. So the hole ahead, it's poking on go through it, right? A tiny creature can squeeze. Okay, so uh, some my familiar would uh, talk to the party about he cannot really go farther ahead due to how cramped it is down down there. So, Francis, what do you want to do? Couldn't find my Discord tab. A whole lot of fucking nothing, because I can't get through the damn wall. Okay. Uh, uh, do you want uh, Mistress Lucia to cast another stone shape in this passageway? <laughs> That'll cost you a hero point, right? Yeah, I am just asking Francis if he wants Lucia to do this. Can uh, Francis, like, transform into a tiny plant creature and get through? No, I can't do tiny yet. Oh. Uh, Francis, w would you like Mistress Lucia to help you out in that area? 
I don't know who Mistress Lucia is. Uh, but... uh, <laughs> uh, to be fair, hey, uh, Cole would I... never say Mistress Lucia. Who's asking uh, this? That's it the is... familiar. It's the imp. <laughs> oh, familiar. I was about to say. F- well, well, I don't think the imp really likes Lucia either. Yeah, well, Just the, soul. The, imp is o- the, the imp is only giving the proper title because of how the harkey works. Mm-hmm. So, do you want Lucia to open the passageway for you? I don't know how else we're gonna get out of here other than basically digging our way out, so yes. Okay, so the imp flies uh, back to Lucia and she... And I need to actually move my token to actually get to my other token. Lots of tokens on the board right now. All right, so Lucia can so, squeeze through there for sure. All the characters can fit in that space. Okay, There's so a lot of space. Okay, so Lucia would uh, create as much uh, sh- um, um, as much space as she can using sh- using stone shape in this general we're deep area. deep through the wall. I see where deep. he's drawing on the board. Yeah, going through the deep through the wall as far as we can. So ahead of All right, us. So I'm gonna to sit on a- the dynamic lighting layer. Uh, if you could keep messing with your your ruler so I can see exactly where you want me to move stone, that'd be great. So if where Paul is, so would be ish. Okay, Paul-ish, yeah, I got it. I got so it. I so see, it would I be this, talking about. Okay. this area. So you can move those mm, about five feet back. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. I will delete this, and I will delete this, and I will delete this. The board's going to look real wonky, and now I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> see a lot of guns. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. gotta put the fear uh, of God in them. That's how okay. you do it. Okay, uh, Francis, I believe we can go through the way there. So while this is going on, how much time would you say pass? I don't know yet. Let me finish drawing the board. Can you, can you kill enough of this wall right here to let Enderling through? There. That probably I, looks I, really wonky. I'm gonna move uh, Francis I, back. I can, uh, I can, uh, I can dimension door Enderling to the other side there. That's a good idea. Oh my That's god, you guys have line of sight on a lot of stuff you shouldn't have. This map was... Just, just slap Enderling through on the other side of the yeah, and, wall. Yeah, uh, and dim- Dimension Door. It's such a youthful withered, withered spell. <laughs> okay, to clarify, the board is a little beat up at the moment. I need to move Lucia, because her nameplate is sitting where I'm looking. Be gone with ya! And ya! And ya! All ya! Be gone with ya! I need to look at this. You should have different line of sight than you do. Oh, well, it'll be fine. Yeah, I, I can only see, 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 see as far as this for all of my tokens. I accidentally grab the board. You should see, if I put you here, you shouldn't... Now you can see way too many gugs. I see yeah, I, I, I see gugs. Alright, so what I'm going to say is you can... Because the dynamic gliding is not behaving. You have a... About... 20 foot passage of just like a straight... Like where there's been a bunch of little breaks that have opened up that seems to open up into a bigger hallway. Okay, so uh, looking at Zandu, how far is he in the ritual for time? What ritual do you? What are you talking about? Uh, Z- 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 uh, Divination. Oh, oh, yes. That takes ten minutes, so I don't know where I'm at now. How yeah, long is mm, and uh, time is a factor. Let's roll a d6. A minute has passed. You guys are very on point compared to how the rest of this campaign has gone for trying to figure uh, stuff out. Zen, 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 do. Are you going to be safe for a minute? Uh, because uh, my dragon can teleport Enderling. He does not uh, respond because he needs uninterrupted concentration to okay. fix it. Also, Enderling can squeeze through there. So can the dragon. It's a medium size. Kazaha just dragon. stands but stands beside. Uh, Oh. And Zandu is still invisible for now. Yeah. He's just standing beside where Zandu was and goes, shh. Just wait okay, for the so my, I'm with so, bow out. So the dragon is ready to move south when when need, need be. Okay, it's up so. to you. You can move the dragon whenever you'd like to. So what's the divination spell Zandu is doing at, at the moment? Uh, so okay, I'm just going to wait. What, what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do is I'm gonna roll percentage dice. The percentage dice fall in your favor. Ten minutes pass uneventfully. The divination spell resolves. Ask away, Colin. Zandu is looking for a 
uh, specifically a location away from the Gugs where it is possible to safely teleport to without getting Swiss cheesed by the Empire's barrier. Okay. That's now, way too vague. Within a... Uh, you get a peaceful within, island somewhere. Within Dimension in Door distance. <laughs> All right. So correct me if I'm wrong. Dimension door is ten feet per caster level. Is that correct? No, it's way more. Cause I have no idea. I should know. I'm gonna. Uh, I, I think it's like four hundred feet plus forty per caster level, but I could be wrong. I think that's right. I'm gonna sound real dumb on my own stream now. Isn't dimension door like this? Isn't fireball a necromancy spell? Yeah. Okay. You've got the Lucia can dimension door too, as long as I'm being specific. Four yeah. Times. I. I. Ha- the dragon's caster right- level is eight. Yes, yeah, so I have uh, five more uses of uh, uses oh, the, the of the dragon uh, dimension new dimension door. door? Yeah. Then, yes. Okay, the dragon. Then sorry. Forty. You're fine. I know what you meant. So you've got a lot of space. You've got something like seven hundred feet. Okay. Let's see how kind the percentage dice are to you today. You cannot teleport straight up. You like the divination starts like reaching up and it's kind of like in the mind's eye of the psychic sorcerer he sees himself like swimming up fighting for air gasping hoping praying and then just blackness which indicates to you that if you try to dimension door up you'll be shunted back down and it's going to end really badly a place that's safe for the gug safe from the gugs gives you nothing so i guess it kind of comes up like wheel and woe. would it not would it not give her a lo- give him a location still within the dark lands? But actually, he didn't specifically say up, did he? He did not. He said no. safe from the gugs. He said that which within means, dimension door distance. Okay. Which means anywhere in the dark lands below us. Which why that I said true. it wasn't. Okay. Uh, you, the same thing happens, and Zandu starts looking down, and Zandu sees. A lot of troglodyte bodies, which would indicate that the Ebercar and Viper has scared them off yet again, but the Viper is nowhere down there. It looks... You don't get safe from the Gug... You begin safe from... To begin to think, rather, that safe from the Gugs is out the window at this point, but down could get you out of the trap you're in. You also get... A, they get like anywhere horizontal from us that could be safe. You get or at least not safe, but like out of the trap. Yeah, hang on. I need to raw. Okay, you get at like where the board is sitting. You get like at seven o'clock on the board. The problem is you don't get it. Well, well. Okay, yeah. You don't get an exact distance, but again, like at the board's seven o'clock. So if you were to like like this direction, not necessarily saying running down the hall, but like teleporting this way would indicate the exit. Again, the problem okay. is the distance. If you overshoot it or undershoot it, it the consequences are ouchy. So so do we oh, have to ouchy. do we have to go uh, south then? To get there, then you could walk there, certainly. Okay, so, so the so the plan is, uh, I can. How about we go south of where Lucia is through, through the tunnels? Uh, is that a plan everyone can agree to? Because we're trying to get like, uh, south and left, west. Pretty much, yeah. We're trying to get southwest from where we are. If up is north. That is accurate. So, south does not hurt. Like, south is better than nothing. It gets us a little closer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Francis, Ka- Kazahan, thoughts? Kazahan is on board with what gets you guys closer to the surface. Yeah. For all that matters to him, he could he could go down to the other side, and if you see that the trogs are gone for now, he could make his way through the Darkland safely because he used to live here but he doesn't know about you guys so that's kind of his deal I feel like if we go anywhere but out of here we're just going to be tracked by Gugs and Troglodytes and worse 
and Edward. mechanically speaking, we have one, two, three, four, five, six medium or smaller creatures, and one large. Well, anything can be medium if he needs to be. So seven medium or smaller creatures. So that means you can take one additional per three caster levels, caster level of eight. So the dragon can take two things at a time if it uses Dimension Door, meaning it will take, assuming a down and back, it will take three I trips, have, six trips. I, okay, so that would be using all of its uh, force level. It has uh, five left, you said. Will, yeah, five. So, so you won't, you'll use all of them and then two people will have to hoof it. So if it just goes through the tunnel cells, uh, the bird and Lucia can just go through there and hopefully not get hit. Okay. Well, the bird travels with you. It doesn't have to travel separately, does it? It could. Nope. Uh, uh, I, I assume, unless I, if, unless if I tell the bird to fly, he is traveling with me all, all the time. Sure. Okay. So he can turn invisible at will, because he's an amp. Mm -hmm. True. True. So the plan is we go south in the tunnel here, and then hopefully find a way southwest from that one on. Uh, yeah, agreed. Maybe find a crack that we can teleport through, possibly. Or wait, we can't carry everyone though. Yeah. If you were trying to dimension door again, it's a matter of determining the distance. And if you find the distance accurately on the first try, two people are still gonna have to go the long way. Gotcha. So the tunnel heal. Let's dragon move up. I can have him teleport further down yonder way where the tunnel I saw. Okay. So you want to move the dragon forward? Yes. Whenever everyone else is... Uh, Don't else we have like a stone shape down here? Do we have to dimension door? You've got it open up to the next room. You're not sure. Like, the way it tracks, the gugs are capable of stone shaping the walls. There could be a lot. There could be nothing. So where is the next room? Because I, I can't see anything. Oh, you have zero lines. I could originally... No, I can see, like... Here, I'll draw it out for you. Is yeah, I see what you can see. There's a tunnel south of you, but I cannot see it. Yeah, I don't know why you can't see it. There's no dynamic lighting that's stopping you from seeing it. It's probably because I see why. So, like, if I were to grab Lucia and put her here... Here, I say... And you can see a lot of gugs. Yeah, it's just because the map is really, really, really I, small. I am, uh, I am going to pretend I didn't see, 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 see that on my end. <laughs> the Gugs are just there for the tokens. They're not necessarily like, they are right there. I just, there's no point in moving them back. So, so, so the passageway cells, 20 if feet you quickly, uh, quickly go down that, that go, go down that route, most of us can huff it effectively. Yes, you will, like, again, it's, you can teleport some people around, but at the end of the day, whether you decide to go back down onto the surface is weird back down onto the floor or like try to shoot randomly for the exit which you know which way it is two people are gonna have to like figure out how to get there on their own okay so uh so the so so the plan is actually I think it, actually hang on, I hang think on, hang on. I've, mis goes, I've miscounted donald hang on i need to move you i need to see where friends i want to recount because i don't want to tell you guys incorrectly two four so one two three four five so only one person would have to hoof it because we have like one two Hazahaz. three four Hazahaz feels more confident feels more confident with his ability to avoid things versus everybody else maybe pogue is better at it since he can turn invisible but he still got saw that one time So we should definitely just go south as a party and stick together for now and see if we can't find something else down there. Alright, is that the group consensus? Uh, works for me. Works for me All right. and Paul as well, I would assume. Who would him. like to enter the tunnel first? How about the raven, the, the, the raven first? Okay, so... Using Dungeon Studio... I forget what it's called, but the program I used to make this is cool, but I should have... I'm still playing around with the map and how it works and how to make real cool-looking maps. Alright, whoop, that's the map. Everyone feels a sudden earthquake! 
We all die <laughs> as we're merged with the stone wall. Rocks fall. All right. Everybody dies. Next room. I don't think you have line of sight uh, on this. I I don't. Just wait a minute, Donald. I'm very aware. <laughs> Does it have dark vision? Uh, yes. How far? <laughs> Uh, up to 60 up, feet. Up to 60? Alright, so there you go. Yep. Boom, now you have line of sight. Okay, so my familiar... It appears to be the, the Raven Seas at this point. There's another part of the passage that's been... Uh, that has been stone-shaped shut. It's a very... A couple of spots in here, medium creatures will have to squeeze. A couple of spots in here, the dragon will have to dimension door to get... Well... No, nah, never mind. The dragon can squeeze the whole way. Medium okay. creatures are fine. And, okay. and, and, hold on, I'm not finished. Okay, so, you do see... They don't see... Well, hold on. They might see you. I have rolled a 4 on the d4. Now I roll 4 d20s. I have to crit to notice your invisible imp. I do not. Okay, so there are four gugs. They're kind of just, like, hanging out and waiting. Two on the left, two on the right. Again, they don't see the imp. They're in the wall. How big are the gugs? She sees bits of arm and eye and tooth from the, like the holes. So yeah, but like large creature arm or medium creature arm. She can try to. Well, she the imp specifically can try to make a check. Okay, so a perception then. Sure. Twenty-eight. All right, you. It's really hard to tell. They're at least the size of a person, but they're on the other side of that wall. So. So so the so the so, so what the plan? Get into this uh, room here quickly, fight the gug, and then fight our way southwards. Uh. Group, uh, group we can't see thoughts. anything, so that's up yeah, they, to yeah, they, we don't know what the fuck's yeah. going on in there. Right now we have a radio. Yeah, I would, uh, I would uh, tell what I can sense from my familiar what's going on. Okay, so you have an empathic link, if I yes. am so, understanding. You so you feel don't feel what it's feeling. You can't see what it's seeing. Yeah. Fear. Fear. Does it feel fear in response to this? It's safe. Yeah, it, it, it would probably feel... It hasn't been attacked no. this whole time. It would it, it would feel feel because it knows that the gugs could uh, could kill the kill the imp. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna roll a d100 to see if that tracks. This is an evil outsider. Yeah, okay, it's afraid. The 78 says it is afraid for its selfish little life. Yeah, what do you expect from an imp? <laughs> and, well, if I rolled low, it wouldn't care because it's invisible and hasn't been touched this whole time. <laughs> And it's technically just going to go back to hell if it dies. Yeah, it's just going to hit that reset button. It's good. Yeah, true. So the party consensus goes through the tunnels. The party tunnels. consensus is you make a sense motive check. You feel fear from your imp. You can have your imp return and tell you you have control over your imp, but you don't know. Uh, na 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 natural 20 sense motive for this, yeah. You're sure there's four gugs. Actually, you're sure a couple of the gugs got bored. You rolled a natural 20. There you so go. so so got what I didn't hear. The got bored. Part. You think a couple of the gugs might have like skittered away to go somewhere else? Okay. Your I raven feels the... marginally still fear, but less fear as again a, it sees a couple of the gugs just skitter off. Okay, I, I I tell the party this feeling. We we have an opportunity. We should uh, should move pronto. <laughs> Zandu just sort of nods, staying quiet. So I would assume Poe would probably go ahead with Francis. Am I correct? Poe will move first. Poe is invisible. I Francis that, uh, will also, yeah, Francis will go. Is Francis invisible? I think that's I, right. Is he still invisible? I don't know. The eight minutes have been up because Xandu's not invisible anymore. Uh, that is correct because the divination was cast. I guess he's a little farther behind. All right, so is it possible to like send Enderling up there? He can oh. squeeze because he's large, or he can reduce to medium. And really quickly, okay, the Gugs do not notice Pogue. Pogue notices them. Uh, 
I guess Xandu will cast invisibility on Francis. All right. Because right. we want to have an advantage here. Make a death so step check. Whatever advantage we can squeeze out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that pun hurts, Kane. But it does. What is my stealth? I'm telling you, man, we still need that drum set. I have a kit upstairs, and it's very, very terrible and crappy, and then I have like a $600 rack and a $700 double bass pedal. So I like metal. 35. All right. They don't add enough, I don't think, to see you. Okay, they they could see you. Yours is... Well, no, they can't. I have to crit. One of them natural ones, so the other one... One of them kind of, like, starts getting a little closer to the wall, and then it contacts the, like... Actually, what happens is this gug from like right here, an arm like <laughs> out of the wall as they're want to do, and it accidentally like you hear it slap into the other gug, and it it doesn't say. And these guys seem to be a little past speaking under common and a little more into just being crazed monsters. Regardless, it like this one runs away. It's upset. It little gug feelings have been hurt. You guys can clearly see a gug right. I'll put him on the board, kind of, right there. But there's only one. He also appears to be a little beat up. There's some, like, bite marks and sword marks and little frozen bits from flurries of snowballs and things like that. He doesn't yeah, see I Yeah, don't, I don't have line of sight. I've got, like, me. Yeah, I will. There's a light in there. Somebody... Well, I do have dark vision. You do have dark vision. As, you a, are as a flower. The a little, flower has dark vision. Little creepy Why? flower guy. Bam. So the plan is to keep our vantage so far. Let have the less stealthy creatures go uh, go uh, go last. Okay. Now, whenever something comes in here, if the Whoa. gug can see it, the gug will attack, and it, there's nothing stopping it from alerting the other gugs. That's the thing. Right. The sound of combat is a very so, low DC. Hey, These guys have gone away. Wait, they haven't, like, exploded. No, wait. What's up? Uh, Zandu, can't you do some kind of illusion? Have you done that before? You know, he doesn't have illusion, but he can make people blind. He does not have any illusion spells whatsoever. Oh. I thought the last time we talked hurt. about having someone do an illusion. And really quickly, really, nice really quickly, have... Kane, how many lightning bolts has Zandu cast in the past two sessions you were botting him? I so think three or three. four. Three or four. four. Okay, four. I don't know his spell slots off the top of my head, because I'm not tracking his as hard, because he's a spontaneous. Was but... Kane tracking them in uh, the character sheet, or no? Well, no, because I don't know how to read your goddamn character sheet. It is a little no, weird. <laughs> Assume you've cast four. That may be correct, that may be not okay. correct. Gotcha. Anyway, who's well, next? Blinding him would be better than you know, having him see us. I'm not sure how he would react. He may call more for friends. That is very, very true. Uh, this is total, like, metagaming thinking, but because uh, I don't know that he's beat up. But if he is, we might be able to just bum rush him and take him down real quick. Hmm. True. We we can uh, do, do, do that. A question. Is he Goga flat-footed? That's a meta question I won't answer. He's, he is not aware of you. He's waiting for people to move through. So I may be able to do sneak, sneak attack damage, potentially. Yeah. Is Lucia a rogue that she can do sneak attack damage? Uh, uh, I am Poe patrolling games. Poe. Oh, Poe. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, hmm. 
I am thinking. Uh, Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. We I know somewhere on. there's a there's a gug amongst my gug tokens that I'd said at the end of last session I has two hit points left. Now I can't find what I've done with him. We are losing, losing... We are we are losing Kane. <laughs> He'll be... Oh, Adam's gone too. Yeah. Oh, that's... I can make the gug confused so it doesn't do anything. Yeah. That's an option. Well, we've got you two while they're figuring out their server problems. Kazaha and well, Francis gets a little quiet, and I won't say stares off into space because he's a flower, but flowers off into space. <laughs> so two different people dropped. They dropped, but they'll be back. They just have yeah, yeah. connectivity problems. Uh, just open. Yeah, pardon me. Don't would you want to continue on with them having technical issues? They'll come back in a couple minutes, I'm sure. They're just having server problems. It's not like their computer blew up. I had this yeah, happen to me just, on Sunday. Uh, I had Discord just have a mass reset while I was talking to a bunch of the patrons. Because I'm definitely thinking uh, Zandu can go invisible in there and. Uh, confuse him for lack of a better word so that he just sort of well he can still act normally occasionally but he has to try every round to act normally okay it's like a d100 roll there's certain effects like as the confusion spell right yeah I know what the spell does he'll definitely probably make noise if you do that and the casting of the spell will make, well, you don't have a somatic component, but there will be flashy psychic bits. Yeah, but it's, uh... Would that be something people could hear, or would it just be visible? Um, it's just visible, I'll say. Fair enough. But you did say he would for sure make noise if I can do so. Which <laughs> makes a lot of sense, especially if he... Uh, depending on what the role of the spell is. Yeah. Hmm. But it's not like... The thing is that they haven't attacked us yet and they still know where we are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just kind of playing cat and mouse with you guys. So... Taking one down is... Even if he does make some noise, they know where we are already, and they could attack us anyways. So... Uh, my little partner ah! is he just made him. Kane made it, we're good. I don't know what else thinks. All right, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell... Adam to quit out of Discord and restart it. Uh, good, 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 good to know. Well, so I don't Adam's have to. Uh, uh, good to know. I don't have to switch to my crappy head headset. Uh, headset to use Google Hangout. You did it. All right. So what the plan is? Yeah. What? The What's plan the plan? Is? A little Come bit of time. Out. A little bit of time passes. It's still just that one gug. There's definitely more. There's definitely several more. They just like. They aren't at this particular stretch of hallway. So the plan is: let's kill this gug quick, quickly and quietly, if possible. Okay. How yeah. would you like to do okay. that? Okay. Uh, Zandu has uh, some mind thrust left over. That uh, you can do some d8 of damage quietly. Alrighty. Is Zandu invisible? Uh, he is not yet. I can make him invisible, though. I've been waiting sort of for a decision. Okay. Is that what we want to do, guys? Yeah, but he'd definitely want to have backup behind him. He's already been 
kind of volleyballed by Gugs. Uh, with uh, most of my, uh, most of these spells I'd be using, it would cause noises. Yeah, Lucia's have somatic components. She will make a sound when she casts. Yeah, uh, the same thing is, it doesn't really matter do right if... now is, like, try to strangle him, but I'm only gonna do, like, 50 points of damage. Even if all of them hit. The dragon could teleport and attack, but that would make a lot of noise. We will definitely see the dragon. Yeah, and... I, they is a little bit of a, the confusion. There's only one, but... Like, it will see the dragon unless the dragon is invisible. So, plan is Zandu goes in, uh, tries to deal some damage while Hog or whatever uh, does some damage, so we get a surprise round on him. And then, uh, if he's not dead by then, we just sort of screw the not making noise bit, because he's going to make noise after that. Okay. And we can take him out. Alrighty, so Zandu casts the invisibility. Yep. Make a stealth check. All right. Oh yeah, and Francis will get up like on the ceiling, so I'm on top of where Pogue is. Okay. So we're like side by side vertically. Gotcha. Also, I can't see like hardly anything in here. You see everything you can see. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. There's a there's a another like divot in the wall right here. Well, divot gotcha. is not a word that's applicable. You uh, need another stone you- shape. Uh, you, you you have to move uh, farther south to see where Poe and the Raven is. No, you can see Pokemon. No, I can see them. I just don't see anything else. Yeah, because that's literally just... I see just... something here, which I'm assuming is the Gug. That's correct. The hallway, again, it's like Picasso came in and stone-shaped the basement of a, like, Dwarven Citadel. If Zandu can, he's going to try and get ten feet away from him. Okay. I do need or that five. stealth check. Five yeah. feet away? No, ten feet, like where he's at right now. Got it. Wait, no, a stealth check from Sandu. Yeah, scroll. Oh, Joe, Joe, jo- Joe jo is in. Just, just scroll now. Good. All right. Fourteen plus the twenty, so okay. twenty-four or thirty-four. Thirty-four. That's a D twelve. He's cool, but he's not that cool. Okay, yeah, he doesn't see you. All right. Uh, Alright, so really quickly, now that Joe's here, Joe, you haven't used your hero point yet, nothing bad has happened to you, but in character reflection for your hero point, go! Um, uh, sorry I wasn't super expecting that, um, well... Anyone's kind of tired of being down, um, below below the surface. He, he wants to get up above. Um, maybe not for Fimblevinter, but he definitely doesn't want to have to deal with these stupid-ass guns anymore. Um, other than that, um, he's also a bit tired of... Uh, yeah, we're all very tired of the Underdark. I, I, I figured that. Um, really, he's, he's also just pretty tired of just fighting constantly, too. Fighting or having to find his way out of a problem. He wants to just have a, a moment of time when we're on top and when nothing, like, where we're not just fighting for our lives constantly. Fair enough, take that here point. So to bring you up to speed real quick, Lucia has determined that the, the teleportation barrier that extends over the Empire is a sphere. It is not a dome. You can teleport through the Darklands just fine. She dimensioned Dord last session and didn't cheese cloth. There's a it, you can't really see it, but there's a twenty foot or a medium creature can fit through without squeezing passage. That is over here that's been stone shaped out. There were four gugs waiting to ambush you, then the dice were nice. Now there's one Gug waiting to ambush you, and Pogue and Francis and Zandu, all invisible, and the Imp as well is here, are about to start a surprise round. Well, I'm glad I got here in time to... You literally showed up right yeah. as we're going to combat. <laughs> You've done I it. To kill him quickly and quietly. And if that doesn't work, just kill him. Alright, so Loudly I will... Loudly and disruptively. I will let Zandu and... Francis and Hogue. It's a surprise round, so you get a standard and a move. Or standard or a move, not both. Go ahead and take your actions, do what you're gonna do, and then we'll see what happens. Alright. 
Okay, so Paul would 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 attack as he can see the arms. All right. The... He can't see the arms, but he can see like there's some gug on the other side of the wall. He can definitely stab into. Okay, so time to operate Paul character sheet. Yep. Oh, oh, excuse me. Donald receives an action point for botting somebody. And uh, who else is botting? That's the only because Frank Enterling didn't do anything. So. Kane. Who's Kane botting? Oh yeah, Kane receives an Enterling. action point for botting Enterling because he like we were literally right at the fighty time. So it's this is okay. I've spoken now. I just, I just want to die. That's the spirit. Okay, so who is going to attack first? It's Zandu and Francis and Pogue. They can come down whenever. There's no initiative because it's a surprise round. He's unaware. Okay, so either. I'm thinking Poe's going to attack first, so I will roll first. Alright. Uh, Hasa does have a bow if you guys want to have him try and shoot, but it's a tricky shot. That wasn't supposed to. I wasn't supposed to do that. Ignore that. <laughs> Boom! Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, so. I assume that's that hit the crit as well. It does hit, and it does not confirm. Okay, and do I get to do? You get a move or a standard, not both. Okay, yes, you so, get your sneak attack. He's unaware of you. Okay, so so the first attack. So so I so can I do both attack? One attack. A okay, single stab so, with a sword. So, so the first first attack. Then. It's thirteen damage plus your sneak attack. And eight additional damage, and then uh, deliberation. It would be a negative two to AC for the uh, uh, for the woke class feature. Gotcha. Cool. Alrighty, he he does cry out as you stab him, but we'll resolve the other two before we go any farther. Yeah. Darn. Does he get anything for that crit? He did not confirm. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. He rolled a natural 20 and didn't need to, so it does do an extra 13 damage. The Oh, so just we're just doubling it instead of rolling twice? Yeah. Okay, because the extra crit damage was plus 17. It's even yeah, that's better. so weird. I, I don't know why it does that. It's just you double the damage. Yeah. Anywho, Xandu, Francis. Alright. He suddenly uh, realizes he's a little more hurt. I suppose that it will, uh, if he's already cried out, I suppose being quiet's out the window. Well, I mean, like, he's crying out as, I imagine you guys are boondock sainting him as Francis, excuse me, as Pogue is stabbing Xandu is mind thrusting and Francis is doing what Francis is doing. Gotcha. Yeah, I am uh, imagining what we are doing is we are, qu we are doing a quick, quiet take takedown, potentially. Fair enough. So he takes 25. Pending uh, a will save? Yeah, hang on. Let me. I don't think that's right anymore. So let me bring up the spell. Alrighty. What's Francis doing? I see the numbers. I, yeah, it's there. I'm not playing a, a plant that's very good at murdering people. I'm kind of squished in here. It does hit. So the DC is 19, 20, 21. I pass. You pass at the 21? Pass at 25. Wow. Oh, wow. That's wild. So, so he takes uh, half of 25. So he takes 12 damage. Okay. Xandu's mind reaches out and finagles something that's a little spoopier than he is. And Francis is, is that just an attack? This is what? You're, you rolled a d20 plus 12 and then d6 plus 6 plus 1d6 cold. Yes. You said I got a standard or a move. That's my standard. Oh. I just wasn't sure exactly what you are doing. Okay. Oh, he's attacking. He's he's got his little flower needles going on in there. <laughs> got it. All right. That fails to kill the gug. It's not happy, but it is alive. It cries out, and we are going to take initiative after I wipe the board. Oh, I forget how to wipe the board. All right, roll initiative, guys. Well, that's a great way to start Khazakhan. Want to use that hero point? Uh, 
He's so close to dying. I don't know. Bad stuff happens on the bridge, though. I guess I'll use it. Wait, uh, I, you're, you're almost dead? I thought you healed up. It takes one hit from a Gug to kill me. It takes one hit from a Gug to get, like, a fourth of Enderling's stuff, so um, it's not... The hero point's gotta be used one way or another. True. I, I thought you you would have had healed up uh, by now, but I, what's wrong? No, you don't have a whole lot of time to heal. You have potions yeah. and stuff. And, that's I'd, and I'm low wealth per level, so that I have you bought you potions. Yeah, you could have uh, had asked for potions, and I would have had gave, gave you one. Yeah, but he knows that you need potions. He's a nice guy. Uh, I'm... I'm. I have other potions to use. <laughs> it's in the past. We're in the present. You yeah, move past wait. it. Chain is done with R. Uh, why are they like Q, E, and F? <laughs> For Kazaha, Enderling, and Francis. Uh, and then sorry, on there though. Oh, good. I'm so used to just uh, slapping everybody on the initiative. Uh, if I remember Poe, he he can do faint attacks, am I correct? Yeah, yeah, that's what he does. He aids another and he faints. That is his jam. How he survives combat. He's a woman in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> or, or he's a Pokemon. No. no damage, but it will hit. Regardless, Francis, you're up. Uh Francis, Will what am I gonna do? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a thirsting entanglement on the other side of this wall and I'm gonna move. Okay. So like where that gug is? Yeah, and then it'll spread. It's a forty foot spread. <laughs> so if I drop it as far as I can uh, on the other side of this wall, it should spread forty foot. We get the measuring tool. It'll spread like forty foot in every direction, but it will deform around the walls. Gotcha. So that pretty well pretty good space on the board. It is cast, it doesn't see you. That breaks your invisibility. Well, your invisibility was broken. It sees you. Would you yeah. like to cast defensively? Oh, I suppose I have to. Twenty-two. Alrighty, is that? I don't know what your. That's a fourth level spell. So you needed. You need a twenty-three. You literally need a twenty-three level twenty-two. I spend an action point, and it automatically succeeds. All right. Okay, I have like one left. I'm moving Pogue to move Francis, so Francis can move himself. Yes. And as Francis is moving, Pogue, what's up? Well, hold on. Don't tell me what's up. Don't tell me what's up with that. I need to quit dropping my headphones on my stream. But I am sure I fail that save. I roll a 10 on my reflex save. So what happens to me? I'm entangled. As, like, You're thirsty. creepy mushrooms break out of the ground and start wrapping around people. Kano, you must tell me what your spell does. Oh, sorry. I thought we had moved on. Uh, we it's, did, but then I failed. It's basically, as entangled with a higher DC, uh, da, 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 da. and it drains their con. Is that right? Yes, it does. One second. Oh, yep. He, he asked me to look for something, and that's when my ability to type completely failed. Uh, one minute per level. Functions as entangle, except they latch onto the targets and drain away their vitality. Any creature that fails a save to avoid becoming entangled or fails a check to break free takes 1 to 2 points of constitution damage. Nice. So. May the gods be with you as I roll this d2 and I roll a 2. He takes 2 points of con damage. Yes. He loses nice. some hit points. Oh yeah, he fails at reflex save real hard. He failed it real hard. These guys are a lot of things. Reflexive is not one of them. Uh, the DC is 20. Yeah, and I rolled a 10. I could not have failed that much harder on an unrelated side. That would be a critical fail in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. It would, yeah, it totally would. So I've lost a lot of hit points. I have a lot of hit points in here. I'm starting to lose them. 
Well, we've been facing these gooks for how how long now? They should feel the pain by this point. Oh, they feel some pain. This one in particular is feeling quite a bit of pain as it does go to Pogue's turn. Okay, so he will uh, stabby stab with both of, both of his weapons. Alrighty, make that full attack. So, so, so do both of those hits. The 34 hits, the 14 does not. The 32 is questionable. Uh, well, he's entangled. So the 32 does hit, the 16 does not. So we deal 33 points of damage. Uh, he, he is not. He's entangled no- as he's wet-footed too. He is, yeah. You get your sneak attack. Sneak attack triggers twice. Okay, so pretty good. Uh, uh, don't don't worry there. about. Oh, you already rolled it. That does that is enough to kill the guy. He like cool. you see like blood is running down his arm from where you know you've heard the incantation since the battle of Fort Vigo says like thorns the size of like your forearm are shooting into this gug and like draining whatever the hell it is that the aberration is sustained upon and its arm comes out and you just and he is very dead the ichor from its vein okay so i will note that initiative is still on so as poe does this poe say something quite uh uh, poe would say something poe would say (laughs) got it (laughs) <laughs> something, 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 innuendo, something, 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 so, so Lucia will move up as far as she, she can. Why do I have so many tokens on the map? <laughs> and welcome to Pathfinder. Okay, 15, so... 20, hang on. 25, so move action puts you on the same square as your raven. Yep. Okay, okay, so that's two actions, and then my that's dragon one is... That was a single move action. Uh, my dragon is on my initiative as well. Oh, right, yes, but is Lucia done with her turn? Uh, yeah, my, my dragon move up as far as he uh, can, and can he see down the passageway where Lucy is? Hang on. What's his move speed? Uh, it would be... Uh, if I recall, it, it is... Uh, uh, I think his fly speed is 60. Because he's cast fly uh, on himself to propel himself, correct? Uh, no, no, he is on the ground. Uh, okay, so his move speed is 30? Uh, yeah. So right there. No, 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 see... no. It, it, it is sixty feet. His move speed is sixty. Yes. Uh... Okay. Yeah. So and then move action further to move down. That as is far a double move can. action. He yeah. So so that what he he does move as far as he can down heel. Got it. Kazaha, what's up? No, no, don't move him. He moved where I put him. That's a double move. Right there. Kazaha is, um, he's probably going to wait until Enderling goes, because he was trying to take up the rear. He's kind of on the fence of whether he should wait for this plasma or not. Probably not. But he's probably going to hold turn until after Enderling. Well, my boy Sploopy there has been following me around, so I don't, that's up to that's up to Tommy. Yeah, you know, yeah. I should. He's. I wasn't thinking about like as we're planning on how to assassinate a gug. I wasn't thinking about Sploopy. So yes, Sploopy does follow. <laughs> Just wherever, follow actually, Sploopy is not my responsibility. That's Ghoulish be Delicious's responsibility. Jeez, Ghoulish be Delicious. There, congratulations on your new pet. Yay! <laughs> yet another yet another NPC to have on the board, Tommy. You done it. All right. My so. sploopy boy. Sploop- my my sploopy boy that I have virtually no control over. You haven't it's tried to control him. Boy. He's just following you enjoying the the static he can create. It doesn't Yeah, he just makes me harder to flank. That's literally all he does. All right. So it comes to the so Hazaka ghost. is holding turn until he's got he's ready for anything. He's got his he's got sparkling twilight out right now. Alrighty. Versus the bow. But so the dynamic lighting is really weird. You guys are gonna have to bear with me. It's one of the reasons we aren't showing this battle map, is because you just you'd see a bunch of weird stuff that means well 
Eh, you can bear with it. Battle screen, go! Alright, so... The wall where Kazaha and Enduling are opens up and a gug appears. Looks like they had been watching for you to... I'm gonna put him, like, here. He's awkwardly... He's not, like, awkwardly in the wall, but there's open space there. It looks like they were looking to make sure you didn't try to retreat and or get around you. He had to move to get there, so it's just a single attack action as he reaches out try to slap around Kazaha. Would Kazaha like to parry? I don't think Kazaha can. I can't. There's You're no way to parry. Out of Panachi. Here we go. Yeah, we have no resources left. 29 to that hit. That hits. Alrighty. So I do... You can see now that this Gug has moved, not like in the walls and you can actually see the full thing, he is adorned with several strange, aberrant bits of clothing or like shiny bits of metal that are fashioned around in some odd sort of Gug fashion. It's really weird and disheartening. Nine damage. Hazaha says, oh, you must be the chief as he gets hit. And he says it in undercommon. It just kind of gurble garbles back at you. All right, Enderling, dinner is served. Next. He was hungry. Okay, is this guy am I able to bite him? Yeah, he is on the board. He's not in the all right. wall. Full attack. There you go. It's all the information you need. <laughs> all right. So you just oh, go god damn. I'll go back and read these. The 29 hits for 25 damage. The I that's think I saw a natural twenty. For my second attack. <laughs> so it does. So that's sixty-four damage. Sixty-four damage. That's some damage. This is why there's a wall, guys. Now we can tell. Then the twenty-five hits as well for twenty-three more damage, and everybody on roll twenty or on YouTube can see I'm just jamming these numbers wherever I can put them, so I can do the math in a second. Then the fourth attack is a thirty, which hits for eighteen damage, and then is that the end? Uh, no, the Ren's at the very end. Alrighty, Ren definitely happens. For 24 more, it might be a dead Gug. Alright, hang on a second. 24 plus all the other damages that have been assigned. I don't think he might not be dead. He's not happy. He realizes he may have attacked the wrong boy. And boom. Yeah, he's not dead, but he's definitely hurting as Enerling just tears into this thing. Gug everywhere. Gug everywhere, yeah. Kazaha, do you want to do your thing? Yeah, I'll take my turn now. Alrighty, you go right after Enerling. I assume Enerling's done. Yeah. Alright, what's up? Kazaha is going to five foot step away. Um, can you draw a bow? Can you draw... You have to use a move action to draw. You can do it as part of that five foot step. Okay. Then he's going to do that and bring out uh, Mistress Kaju's bow. And he's probably going to shoot. Alrighty. It provokes from the gug. You are in his room. No, that's right. He has reach, doesn't he? He does. I forgot about that. So he not shoot. So it's a natural one. Okay. What do I do? Hmm. I could just explode the gug. Now we'll do that. He hits his head on the ceiling and passes out. Uh, sure. How about what, how that's about what it? He's gonna uh, damage himself. His arm. His arms are grossly bifurcated anyway, so like it reaches out to attack, and in his in his state of getting beat up by Enderling, he seems to forget how his own arms work, and it kind of just like snaps back to hit him for an additional. He's gonna roll to hit himself. He does hit. He's himself. probably he's probably trying to hit Enderling actually when this happens. For fifteen damage. This All right. Bleh. I I think the poor guy just killed himself. Yeah. During, no, he's, during, he's during still Enderling's alive. Like Bob and Weed, the that big Doug arm just comes along and he shoves it right in his face. Just, no. He's okay. He's not dead. He's still alive, but like he rips almost like his whole eye out. He's an aberration. He so it seems to not less. matter. He's not happy. So, seeing that, then Hazaha will will see an opening and try to take advantage of it with his bow. Alrighty. Twenty-five to hit. Fortunately, a. Oh, that's your confirmation roll. I see. The twenty-five does hit, and he does take nine damage. Oh. 
he a one? He's a two. <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Just I kill him. Meant, I shoot. I meant to activate my smite on him. Lastly, it's the only one I got. Oh well. I'll have to wait. And he'll just five foot step and flamethrower him. <laughs> Now, to clarify, yeah. Enerling did say he put the weird gug, or the weird Darrow stuff, excuse me, from Gordon yeah. in his flamethrower, right? I what? The, when you found some, like, strange alchemical something in Gorgon. Oh, yeah. It's in the yeah. flamethrower? Yeah. Okay, got it. Alright, if that's all for Kazaha, Xandu, what's up? You can hear the sounds of... Of... One gug appears to be approaching. You guys have been in here long enough, you know how to sound them out by numbers. He's not... Well, you know what? Yeah, he had a double move, we'll say. And he arrives, like, right to, like, the dragon's immediate left. So there's a gunk somewhere over there? Yeah. You can see it. You can't see it on the board, but you can see it through the wall. It's right about here. Right about there, huh? Yeah, you actually literally just clicked on him. Okay, perfect. So... He feels the touch of an otherworldly power and goes, Ew. <laughs> Zandu, uh... Zandu will five foot over to there. Alrighty. Uh... Then... He will take his whip. His, uh... Scorpion whip and try to hit... Well, is he, like, in the wall still, or is he out of it? You can hit with a whip. You'd be like, it's a light weapon. You can attack through the wall. It's really awkward, but no more awkward than having the troll stab his, like, pointer finger into the holes to stab back. <laughs> okay. So, that's what he'll do. He'll, uh, whip the gug and hope that he won't try to get around the dragon somehow. Alrighty. You do have cover from the dragon. I do have what? You have cover behind it. Wait, I have cover and it has cover? You do, you do. Okay. So, my dragon is actually being some use in, in this fight. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be really hard for Lucia to move through there, but... Cover is just... I mean, it's a, actually... it is a size a large, so I could imagine I could go through... You both. could imagine he's squeezing, and so you can't move through unless he moves. It's just like before. Very, very tight passage for Big Boy. Anyway, let's see some damage. Or some attack rolls. Then some damage from Xandu. Okay. Yeah, I already called it, so I guess we'll do the Scorpion move, but there's something better I can do next turn. You can do something else now, that's fine. You haven't rolled. I'm trying to kill you guys really hard right now, but I'm a merciful time. I think we're stuck in another dead end too. You yeah, guys do need one more stone shape. Uh, uh, is uh, is everyone okay with me use, using Poe hero point to get he us cannot. out of this? Poe can only use his hero point. Characters no, who don't, players who don't show up can only use their hero points to cheat death. Like Enderling, uh, Enderling is the only person who still has a hero point. Wait, uh, wait, Enderling. Yeah. Uh, how about you use your? Well, heel regardless, point? regardless, this it's, yeah. you can't do it right now. What's yeah, I was here? gonna say regardless. Um, I'm filled with gunk at the moment. <laughs> he's Be right too, with you. He's too busy chowing down. I've got a welcome guest over here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't mind rusted. Alrighty, it provokes from the gug unless you cast defensively. Uh... Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You're not behind the dragon? So it has a plus four, or you have a plus four to, the, to your AC. It doesn't get a plus four to hit you. That's a real good cover. Okay. Spoopy so, cover! Yeah. I'll definitely you just covered it, behind but I did not stairs. realize I was within, uh, within striking distance of it. Yeah, their arms are very long and blorpy. Kind of like that little guy that's standing right next to you. Don't, don't yes. talk shit about my dear little Splorpums. Little Splorpums. Splorpums. I love how is, the, what's supposed Oleg to be its eye. Also... Oleg is in Francis's pocket. In well, action. I mean, is Oleg also immune to the electricity of the... Yeah, he is, because he's a plant. 
Uh, Oleg's so actually they, also they a actually Sonic actually play band. together? We got new friends. Man, I love how this thing looks like it has a bird of prey flying into the sun. That's literally the, the art from Paizo that I used for the token. So, yeah, I guess, uh, ah! I guess I'm casting defensively because I already rolled. So. If you would, please, yeah. No, I rolled already. Okay. Well, you can roll the cast defensively, that's fine. Oh, you uh, rolled the cast defensively. Dirt to dirt. Yes. Uh, right. do you, uh, Thank you, Carlos Mencia. Uh, do, you, uh, do you need a heal? Do you need a action point? He hasn't rolled that's yet. Concentration or caster level? D20 plus caster level. Plus, oh, that's okay. all. You don't close gas level, gotcha. Well, no, you add your mod. You add your mod. So you rolled a Oh, ten. I add my mod? Yeah. So you add seven to that? Uh. I think that's right. Okay, I so. Open up the character sheet again. So level one spell? It is so a level one spell. Uh, okay, so it would fail. Because he's a psychic caster, his concentration uh, checks level... are. Yeah, level one. Okay, so I, again, I, no, Donald. Xandu is a psychic caster. To fulfill the, I believe, thought component, he has to be able to concentrate real hard, and as so, his concentration DCs for casting. That's plus eight, like that. not plus seven to that. So it's an eighteen. That and he needs, he yeah. needs to increase by ten. He needs a twenty-seven. He rolls gotcha. an eighteen. Do you guys want to throw oh, well. action points at him? Nope. All, All right. right, I'm going to Francis. I don't even have one. He said he'd be right back, BRB. He's holding action. Oh, okay, so Poe is going to do more uh, uh, stabby stab things. We're able to do so. <sighs> uh, Paul, Paul 20 doesn't like, like me all that much with the, the delay on for the character sheets. So, uh, uh, so. Alrighty. So does... I'm gonna renege what I said, because Pope does have a natural one in there. He can roll the cheat death, he can also Wait, roll... Uh, natural nope. one? Oh, it is just just for attack only. Uh, it's just for damage only. It's not for damage, it's for the attack I'm looking at it. He may re-roll that, in addition to re-rolling the cheat death. The second uh, attack is a, uh, nat one. Yeah. Okay, then he's going to roll... roll that... that roll... roll. I cannot talk talk today. Maybe I can roll myself. Uh, 24. Alright, 24 hits, 29 hits, 19 does not hit, the crit does not confirm. So we've got 20 damage, we've got 34 damage, and then roll your damage. Does the secondary attack with the offhand hit the crit? I assume not, uh, except for the crit. Yeah. Yeah, so wouldn't that crit cancel out that uh, sometimes I do that but there's some things going on so he's taking his damage the 24 actually does not hit the 24 is tied to defender this poke move uh well so the uh gug is the life uh, yes it's still. very alive this seems to be a fresh one okay then uh, he is probably I need I need to actually move my token so I can actually move Pope. <laughs> So, Ignore what you see. It's scary, but it's not actually there. Okay, wow. so so Paul is going to move ahead. So how far can he move? He can move five feet. Because okay, so attack, and that's his turn. Lucy, what's up? Okay, so the gook. It is. Uh, I, I need to find my token. You're under your dragon. Okay, so I'm going to cast uh, yep. magic magic missile. Uh, d d d d d d d d d d Yes, so... Alrighty. Uh, and that beats the DC right on the number. And it's time to defender, you are the defender. Okay. Shh. Uh... I cannot type 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 properly to to, to today. <laughs> okay, so it's your caster level. There you go. Yeah, so uh, eleven force uh, damage. Eleven force damage. Got it. And I end my turn. Alrighty, it's the Gug's turn. With two hit points, this boy is gonna take the withdraw action. He flees back. 
somewhere. Well, he can only... It's awkward, because I think the draw action has to be a straight line, so it's kind of sad. So he kind of just fought the steps. Yeah, he fought the steps, so it's kind of sad. Meanwhile, we're going to four attack Lucia. Because Lucia has hit us with stuff, we don't like that. Okay, so is he... Do I have partial cover from the right dragon? You do not. You're not on the other side of it. Okay. You're actually... You're under your hand. I misspoke. You're right there. So, okay. What's your armor class, please? Uh... It would be 20, uh, 20. Just a flat 20? Yeah, just so straight to uh, In straight that case, 20. the natural 3 is a 20 and doesn't hit, but the other 3, a 21, a... Somewhere in the 30s on the other 2, those... All yeah, connects. all those, uh, all those hits. D, 8, plus... This is from 3 attacks, for the purpose of your damage reduction. I rolled the same number twice, 32 damage. And it's just okay. 1, 2, 3. Okay, cool. Uh, praise uh, in, in front of, in, in praise in front of healing as if I can easily just heal this up. Later. All right. But do track the spells you're casting because you guys. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, Anything? What's up? Is this guy still here? Can I still see him? Yeah, you can see him. He just he started running and then there's a wall. Oh. Can I just like five foot step and then smack him through the wall? Yeah, there's there's about a five foot gap right here. So. Okay. I'm just gonna claw. Alrighty, forty hits for for a dead gug. Bam! Just claw down like a cat. Just and the gug just kind of like opens its mouth, and you grab the the jaw cheek. It's it's really awkward. The side kinda, of its face. Yes, that one, and just kind of rip it in half, and two gugs flop sideways as this thing is very dead. Uh, I took a five foot step. Um, I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna wait here. I'm just gonna hold, move action or something, just because. Alrighty, Kazaha, what's up? Kazaha, what's up there? Kazaha will look at um, Endling and said, "Don't, don't dally too long with your snack," and he'll start to move towards the others. Alrighty, five, ten. Uh, I see you move. 15, 20, 25, that's a move action. It's You're kind of like awkwardly jammed, but you can fit through. Your line of sight's probably real weird. There's, you can yeah, see a gug like just to your right south. Here. Like, where? Right about here. There? In the wall, you mean? In the wall, yeah. Alright, so I didn't attack yet, so I will shoot my bow at. The gug in the wall. Alright, it provokes from the gug. Does it have cover? It does not. Um, it probably has cover, yeah. From something like, well, no, because everything else is been attacking. It doesn't have cover. But it does have. Try to slap you. I want to check my number. Okay, it doesn't have a 12. That's a little more than that. And boom! 34 hit So I can't on. stop in the middle? I can't stop in the middle there? It's like right there? Without seeing it? Um, you said move as far as you can. I moved to move action. You can see it from there. You can probably see it from there. Well, I, I said I was going to move, but okay, I can move there. Yeah, he hits me. Four, five, nine damage. All right. Uh, let me see. That means that Hazaha is basically just wobbling on his feet, but he's going to try and shoot. Alrighty. He's got blood coming out of him everywhere, basically, it seems. Doesn't even hit. It does not. I keep seeing your confirm, like, oh, that didn't hit. But then I gotta scroll up. Yeah, three doesn't get there. Alrighty, if that is all, I've misplaced the initial third. Um, he will... He will look at who's close. Well, who's the closest PC to him? Lucia is like right under her raven. He will. He will look at Lucia and say, "Whatever what? happens, don't let them take my weapons." I I promise that. Zandy, what's up? All right. Uh, 
Xander takes his weapons. <laughs> that looks like it would sell a lot at the Underdark Market. I just gotta survive all these damn gugs. And I'm realizing that YouTube can see that I scroll back a little. There's some gugs. There's, those tokens aren't where they are. I'm gonna, just to clarify that again. There's, they're dealing with one right now. Anyway, Xander. All right, so... I guess what he's gonna do is he's gonna use his supernatural ability, Psychic Strike, so All it right. does not provoke, which is nice. And yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Okay. He has to make a will say, which is ten plus four plus eight. So 10 plus four 22. plus eight, twenty-two. Alrighty. Will save power activate. I roll a seventeen and fail. All right, so now I get to roll my damage, and I roll my damage, and he becomes shaken for some number of rounds. I think it might just be one. Okay. He is. Somehow these things are capable of feeling fear. Alrighty. Alright. So, let me roll some damage. Oh, in damage. Five damage. He kind of twitches a little. He like he hits uh, Kazaha and sees he does a lot of damage and just <laughs> as he takes five more. Is that all? That is it. All right, Francis. Uh, Joe uh, said he said uh, he would be. Uh, be right, uh, right, right, right back. Sweet. That was Francis's turn. Francis is king. I'm a burb as well. Not me. I'm still here. I'm hanging out. Okay. I, 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 I have an idea. Uh, there's a hollow on the far side wall. Uh, like immediately to yourself, yes. Uh, no, okay. Let me, let me just do this with the draw to the... Uh, Measure tool written. So this side is what we're fighting right now, right? Uh, right now, that was one that just died. It looks like they're dealing with one up over here. Like, right by Lucy's dragon. Okay, so over here? Yeah. Okay, perfect. That was the side I was thinking about messing with. So, Francis's little tiny plant body, uh, his little flower body is gonna uh, skitter along the ceiling over to this wall. Alrighty. And he's gonna stick a pedal through the hole in the wall, and he's gonna cast Sleep Storm, like, into the wall over here. Okay. And Sleep Storm is... 5d6 damage, no save. No, you're thinking of something. Uh, sleep Storm is driving sleep, blocks all sight, including dark vision uh, within the area, and causes the ground to become icy. I mean, they're not going to fail at DC-10 acrobatics, so I'm not worried about that, but they can't see out. That's fair. Alrighty. That spell is a spell I haven't thought about. So really quickly, I'm going to look it up and see if it has... It does have the cult descriptor. Alright. So, you go to cast this, you stick your little finger through, and as you cast it, it, like, instantly, it almost, like, freezes your poor little stamen off as it erupts from your hand, and you think that the radius is a lot bigger than it actually is, as, like, just, like, the fury of winter flies forth from you. But I wish I had played a feature-themed character now. Is that all? That is a movement and a standard. I don't believe I have a swift. Alright. Hogue, you can hear that winter has happened. On the other side of the wall. It's very, like, gusts of air for a little while. Uh, are there any uh, gugs in Poe's po Reach? Yes, you just stabbed one last turn, he's still there. Okay, so he's going to do more uh, sappy sap thing, saying Calistria. Uh, insert uh, innuendo things Poe po would say. Insert innuendo things! Well, that's an innuendo in and of itself right there. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, I, yes, so insert what Poe would normally say. So Got it. He's inserting all those innuendos. So all of those innuendos do connect, and he is insert. unable to see you, so you will get all of your sneak attacks. 
That's cool. So that is just two, right? Four. All four of them. You're two up cool, and fighting cool. and made four attacks. This is why I personally like like playing rogues. I like rogues just a lot, yeah. Just, just seeing the pretty numbers. <laughs> so I, I think we have a dead duck. Now, 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 now. You assume so much. I have to do math yeah. before we know if he's dead. So we've done 10 damage, 8 damage, 6 damage, 6 damage in sneak attack ease. A 25 and a 25, and a 24 and a 25. You're nothing if you're not consistent. All hit for 17, 16, 12, and 14 damage. Plus, so I added those, and then I add that, and then I add that. And he's taken that much damage, plus that much number equals... Not and dead. Then, not a dead gun. He's not, like... These guys have a bunch of hit points, man. Well, you know, it's and important, then, Adam, to always... Max and, the and then uh, for the uh, vo I, uh, vote, I, I don't uh, 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 If the Gug is not dead, he have a negative two to AC, swift action for a and another. Give Kazahan the AC bonus. Understood. So Pogue like <laughs> his blades through the hole and it comes back with like weird aberrant blood and sleet in you. Like your blade almost comes back with the blood frozen. The blade like you almost have like to, a like, short furry little Cuisinart. You almost have to, like, finagle it out because it's, like, actively freezing in there. Speaking of actively freezing in there, Lucia, it's your turn. Okay, so the Gug here, is it alive still? It is still alive. Okay, so, if I remember correctly... I also, don't forget to use your dragon that you have. Yeah, I, I remembered I should have had attacked last turn with it. So, so can I... So, so the dragon, he's cramped for four sides, right, in this passage, right? He is. If he were to move, like, here... Well, if he moves there, he contacts the capacitor ooze. So, I don't know. Well, you're undead. I don't know if that means immune to electricity, but the capacitor ooze will hit you. Lucy just left. It does not mean he's immune to electricity. Yeah. It makes uh, Alrighty, look, so... The cage just left! Oh, God! Something's happening. Oh, there we are. He's back. Cade's back. Cade's back. Cause Lucy. You left as well. <laughs> Discord Terrible. just poops its pants. Okay, Donald's back. Donald's Donald, had back. A, Donald had a poopy. You can five foot step your dragon, and he won't be squeezing Donald. But if you do so, you will contact the capacitor who's. Well, actually, excuse me. Okay, yeah, you still would. Never mind. The capacitor who's is right under Francis, just following along. He just left again. He just left again. Congratulations! <laughs> He's holding action, and it's the Gug's turn. Humble Speaking of the Gugs, two of them appear. Right where Anderling can see both of them. Oh! They, hey guys, would that provoke? Um, they just move up. With it? They move up to ten. Oh yeah. It is your turn though. Let's have fun. Uh, I can. Can I full attack them? You can. All right, I'm gonna full attack the one that's like. All I can see is like a little nubbin. Alrighty, you get you some nubbin. All right, deal. One of these gugs has two okay. hit points. Oh, back, 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 back now, Tommy. Congratulations, you're holding action until the end of. Yeah, <laughs> Where somewhere there's a dude with two hit points. I don't know what I did with him. Oh, yeah, I killed him. No, that was a yeah. different guy. This is from last session. He ended up with two hit points. Because I remember oh. Francis was full attack, and I'm like, Francis, one of the guys in your threat range has two hit points. Use wisely. And he did not choose wisely. Kate's about to join us again. Where'd you go, little buddy? Anyway, go ahead and... Oh, you've rolled your damage. It's like, yeah. like taking everybody on a tour of the map and all the cugs. All right, so a 41 does connect. A 40 does connect. A 41 does connect. A 41, Jesus, does connect for 31 damage. Ooh, calculator. Oh, my red. Already. Well, 31 damage. Donald, please stop breathing in your microphone. Thank you. 32 damage. Uh, got to do the scrolling. 19 damage is kind of lackluster. Yeah. 20 damage is kind of lackluster. Oh, oh no. So, if I gotta mess up, I'll screw it. 68 plus 20 damage. Plus another 26. He's still alive. But you definitely, again, you 
tear into the flesh of these guys. And you can see these guys, like, again, it's not just the one, it's all of them seem to be wearing weird, strange, aberrant items. Sweet. Is that all? Do any uh, of those items help us stone shape? I don't know yet. I'll taste them and find out. That's all. <laughs> what does this taste like? Alright, Lucio, what you got? Uh, so, can I fold attack the gugs, or am I compressed in the tunnel still? You're squeezing, so you're taking an egg on the roll. Specifically, I think an egg six. But okay. you, and you can't use your bite. You can, uh, all you so, can use is your claws. Okay, so uh, so so I attacked the one gug that uh, Lucia attacked er- earlier. So, so claw one and claw two with a negative. I think the first one hits. It's a negative four penalty on your attack rolls and AC. So the first one, the thirty-seven. Yeah, I can't. There's no stopping that. But the twenty-four does miss. So you do some damage. You do fourteen damage. Okay, and Lucia is going to cast. Uh, Let's see if she wait yeah. a second. Because it might be dead. Um, okay, it's not dead. Okay. Uh, okay, so Lucia is going to. Uh, is he good within, uh, within melee touch? Of yeah, me? you could reach in and touch it for sure. Okay, so I'm going to cast defensively this this spell. DC, it is. Uh, What's the name of the spell? Uh, it is ghoul, uh, ghoul touch. So DC 19 casting d- uh, d- 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 defensively. If I'm not mistaken, uh, spells that are touch attacks are considered armed, so you don't have to cast defensively. Oh, okay. That's incorrect. What happens is she'll cast it. Donald, please stop breathing in your mic, Jesus. She'll cast it, and then. It's a free action afterwards to deliver it, as if making a melee attack. So she still does need to cast defensively if she wishes to not provoke. Yeah, I thought the cast was part of it, but... It is, but it is still a cast. That's a Magus thing, isn't it? It's, no, that's that how everybody does do it. The Magus can just abuse it. Alright. Please give okay, me... Okay, if I... It, so casting um, melee spells... Do I have just use use my use my strength marker or could I use my cast dex? defensively or provokes from the gun? No, no, no. I am I am cast making the melee touch. Uh, okay, first uh, you need to cast defensively. Uh, I, I I I did thirty. Oh, sorry. I thought that was part of your guy. That does succeed. Now roll to hit his touch. So can I use my dex and not my strength to ca- to touch his a- AC or just have to be strength? You can use your dex. That's fine. Okay. So that's going to be slightly better then. So, 23. I believe that... Uh, that does that, touch him. Did I make okay, a little so, Uh, I, I think it's for two, uh, for two tape. Okay. I'm pretty sure my fourth save is the same. I may or may so, not close the gun swamp tab like food. Uh, okay, so it's actually three lower. So I have a 17, which I'm assuming fails. Yes, so he happens. fails. He fails, and I have to see how how long uh, the the effect lasts. What is for. the effect? Though? Uh, he is a par- paralyzed uh, for for a set number of uh, turns. That's how it's up. Uh. I, can I back up one to get out of reach of this other... This There's still a gug right here, right? And he kind of, like, his arm kind of flops through and angle, dangles, that's gross. Hangs and dangles limply. Oh, so he's dead? He's paralyzed. Uh, he is paralyzed oh, he's for... he's paralyzed. He is paralyzed for three rounds. Okay. Then, Hazaha... I can't actually get to him to do melee, which would be better, so I am going to instead. Uh, I think I can deliver a spell through my bow. Let me make sure. Are you a Myrmidark or a uh, Eldritch Archer? Uh, no, but I think I took a... Let me make sure. I think I took a... Oh, I took throwing magus. That's what it is. 
I can spend my move a- move action to switch out my equip my uh, weapon, right? Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to switch to my scimitar, and I'm going to throw it by spending a arcane point. And sure. then I am also, uh, but I would like to cast my shocking grasp. Alrighty. So you spend the arcane point, and it gets what does it get mechanically? I basically just it gets throwing and returning. Okay, gotcha. But I have to spend to get that. So Understood. we're going to try. We're going to try. Fucking grasp the packet. Alrighty. With my deal. Oh, or, and hey, for the record, because I'm just now remembering it. For level eight, Kazaha, a number of times equal to half his level, can have his attacks choose to resolve against the touch. I forgot I didn't give you something. It's been several sessions, and I've had that in my head. And now's a good time as any, as you're almost dying. Well, how many hit points do you have? I'm curious. Uh, six. Okay, six. Got it. So, right, proceed. instead of four times, I can have it resolve. It's four times a day versus flat-footed, it? and four times a day, half your level a day versus touch. It's two separate things. level day versus touch. Okay. So I'm going to choose uh, I'm going to throw to clarify I have to say for before or after that it's resolving against t- uh, flat footed or touch. Before. Before. But also now I'll say you're definitely resolving against flat footed. He's paralyzed. <laughs> So we're going to do that. We're going to basically just attack with Sparkling Twilight. And give him the zap. we'll see if we can deliver that spell. Uh, 29. Yeah, that hits, and he he dies to the damage, and then dies more to the shocking grasp. Three guns! <laughs> okay. Yeah, he kind of, like, his arm hangs through the wall, and then a scimitar goes, like, flying past Lucy's head, boomerang-style contacts, chops the arm off, and there's a little bit of through the body as, like blood kind of spurts everywhere from a gross, like, stump that flails about, and Sparkling Twilight lands back in Kazaha's hand. It kind of, Kazaha, even in death, even while so close to death, tries to get it to spin just right to catch the glimmer off the plasma ooze so that it's beautiful. Oh, what is the most beautiful? Would that be all? Uh, yeah. Alrighty, Zandy, what's up? I knew you, yep. All right, so does this Doug that uh, was just killed is you said all of them are wearing some kind of crazy armored stuff, right? That's right. Uh, so I'm gonna look at what it's wearing and do some knowledge checks to see if any of them can help us in this situation. Okay, sure. Cool. Skills. Knowledge. Uh, would that be Arcana or Spellcraft? Your call. Arcana is better for me, so let's go with that. Okay. 16. It's too hard to tell from here. You can tell he's got magic stuff on, but he is on the other side of a wall. There's nothing. He doesn't have, like, a magic bracelet or a ponytail holder or, like, watch hanging on his wrist, and that's the only thing that's hanging. You would need to access the body a little better. Okay, and then I've heard combat in the other room, correct? Yeah, Enterling's not quiet, I'm sure. Yeah. So, uh... No, 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 no. I guess Zandu will try and get over there. Okay. That's where the combat's going on. So the thing is, the dragon is impassable. He fills up that whole space. Oh, does he? Mm. Uh, when it gets to be my turn, I can have the dragon move. But where would he move to, is the question. Uh, I can, uh, dimension door all this way, so all of us can move. Some of us. Well, all of us after the dimension door. Only some of you during the casting. And anyway, regardless, yeah, is Andrew so moving I, action? I guess I'll hold action for the dragon to move. Alrighty, Francis, what are you doing? Okay. 
Uh, as a small creature, can I squeeze through a hole in the wall? You can... Yes or no? Try now. Okay. Uh... Can I... Is there a room above the dragon? Hmm... That's a little more questionable for... Because you have a climb speed. Yeah, I'm on the roof. Yeah. Ceiling. Had I roll the percentage? 65 says, yeah, you could just barely get over. All right. Because you're a small dude on the roof. Pitter patter. Two, three, four. What is it? Speed on a Kalath car. It's. 20 foot. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20 puts you, like, you brush past the raven. Yep. This guy tries to move through the, the dragon and. He's got so, compression. He does have compression. Okay, yeah, he's able to kind of just through the wall past. Actually, he probably... No, he's not going to go where the gugs are. Just whoop, into the sleet storm. Bad, 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 bad. Whoop, out of the sleet storm. Now, he just kind of is able to squeeze around the dragon. Nah, Splorpy's a good boy. Splorpy is a good boy. Better to name Splorpy. I think that's the name I'm going with, Splorpy. And I'm gonna I'm gonna lay some knowledge on Kazaha to the the tune of like Cure Light Wounds. And that'll be me. Alrighty. Kazaha gets a little Kazaha is very here. appreciative. Hug, oh, what's up? There you are. Uh, is there a Gug alive uh, still? Yes, but not actively attacking you. Well, okay. there's you know there's combat coming from up here, like where Anderling is, and you you're on the other side of the dragon, so you can move around over here somewhere, but you don't hear the sound of guns at the moment, like in your neck of the woods. Okay, so Poe will. Uh, I, I I have to move the dragon to actually get to Poe. Yeah, I'll get him. I can. Oh, you got it. There you go. All right. So, so Poe Poe move uh, down down there. Seeing Kazahan is injured, Lucy is going to get a cure moderate wound potion and give it to Kazahan. Okay. Kazahan, you're injured. Use use this, and she give you a cure moderate. She will do that on potion. her initiative count. It's bugs right now. Yeah. Um, wait. I, I thought Lucy was on, was went right, went right 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 after Poe. And she had to hold action because you dropped. Okay. So can I just do do that? Uh, do, do, uh, you can do it when it comes around to you. Is Poe done? Uh, yeah, I would he should go go next as you know you were holding action. It is the gun's turn. <laughs> These guys are going to both try to full attack Enerling. They can use all five of their attacks now because they aren't like scalorping through the walls, so they can try to bite. Joe, what's your AC? So I can add the stuff on my end and make it a little easier. 33. 33. So I add that. So I need... Oh, I need to get at least a... A lot. <laughs> okay, so... There's a natural one. So the one of them that would hit you, the natural 19, does fail to connect. Here comes the other one. Maybe these guys have a 27, a 19, an 18, a 27, and a 27. As they just kind of... Arms and hands flail forward in a sea of spooky and splurpy and seem to do not a whole lot of much, but they're pretty I'm not determined. Super next, so they're probably touching me, it's just that they're not getting through my skin. They just can't get skin. through the blubber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they seem to be pretty determined, though. So determined that this one's going to five foot step into the room. They see somebody by themselves and they're gonna push their luck. Anything. This guy's in your business. He is in my business. He's about to be all up in my business, though. Alrighty, 29 all connects. All inside of my business. 32 connects. 34 connects. I saw my a one. Business. 31 connects. Let's get that rend. The rend is the rend is painful. Alrighty. So that's 24 damage plus 24 damage. Plus, I have to do a lot of scrolling. 18 damage plus 35 damage. Plus 18. Whoop. Oh, 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 oh. Plus 
24 plus 18 plus 35 plus, plus 27. Plus 27. Thank you. Thank you very much, Colin. For a grand total of 128 damage, there are two unhappy gugs in the northern part of the room, but they still, they appear determined. They, he's pretty beat up, and they, they might not quite realize that they're not really that able to hit you. They're just a little deranged as they see a meal and they haven't eaten for a while, and you're big and glorpy and tasty, and is that all? Yeah, that's all. All right, Lucia. Okay, so can I move uh, my dragon to this, to these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, so these uh, squares? Okay. So, quick question: with with my dragon being a bone dragon, can my raven fly in be- in between the bones, or is that not allowed? To do- mm, your raven can probably like squeeze. Okay, so my drag my familiar go into the dragon bone to hide. Okay. So that doesn't work. Well, it's mm. size, uh, size tiny compared to size large. So yeah, I'm not I really could... worried so much about like the logistics so much as the rules are written. Yeah. I think cannot occupy the same place, but unless well, size... you're t- tiny, you can occupy the square and you'll have cover. But that's all. Okay, and then I'm going to heal Kaza Han, getting a cure moderate wound potion for him. Kaza, you. Looking bad. You are looking, looking bad. He, he, heal up. And do you accept the healing willingly from Lucia? Or does she have to hold person you first? I am. I am asking. Well, I mean, is, are we talking about infernal healing? Uh, it, 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 it is a. It is a potion. It is a potion of what? Wound. A cure like cure, okay. cure, cure moderate wound potion. Not infernal. One of the bottles we got off Vanderling. Okay. He he would. He would accept it. He yes. He's not. Okay. Uh, uh, roll uh, two, two d eight, uh, two d eight plus eight on on your side for how much he heals. I'll roll it so we can go faster. As I say, as I type two s eight, I have to go back. <laughs> Sixteen. Okay. Better. All done. Done. He has some hit points now. Right. Yep. I'm done. Uh, done my turn. Zandu, what's up? So. Zandu is going to try and get a peek at least to see what's going on in Enderling first. Okay. You can definitely, now that the dragon's moved, you can freely move back there. Am I able to like actually move the token? A full move action will get you here. Yeah. I'm not wanting to go quite that far. Okay, so we'll put you like here. You probably see I can't a little... see anything there. Yeah, it's awkward. The line of sight's weird. Pretend you're five feet further back. So, where am I as, where, as far as Enderling goes? You are here. They are. You're technically here. And there's a gug that's in that room. You can hear one behind it as well. You probably see a bit of arm hanging out. What room are you talking about? You can definitely... Well, actually... Okay, you can't. I lied. Forgive me. I'll make another light source, because I know you guys have them. <laughs> I forgot you don't have dark vision. I'm like, it's right there. Dude, come on. I know you see. There, now you see. Oh, well. You should. Okay. Yeah, I definitely see that. Um, so, Zandu is going to take his... Uh, Uh, now that he's got a better view of the gug, try a uh, knowledge check to see if anything he's got on him. Okay, sure. Would help us in this situation. And there's also like a body around there too, I think, that came out. Yeah. I can look yeah, at it. was definitely like half a thing split. Just a little past that other gug. It's probably gross. As yeah. Kindling licks his lips. <laughs> I'm not eating them anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's busy fighting. I've kicked the stuff. Eh, not much better. A 15. Well, you can see now, is the thing. Yeah, so, true. they're definitely all wearing magic amulets. They're definitely... It appears they're wearing some kind of... bit of loose skin and something or another that's wrapped around their waist to serve as a belt of some kind. And let's see what the percentage does say. The percentage does say this guy 
appears to be carrying... It, it looks like a finger bone around his waist. You're not quite sure what that means, but he's definitely... Well, finger bone is one of, like, his finger bones. It's, like, weirdly bifurcated and stuff. Yeah. Probably farther up, like, to the wrist. But it's some sort of magical stick-shaped object that may or may not work as a wand. You're not sure? Yeah, that's why I said may or may not. It could be a dagger. It could be some kind of, like, divine focus. It could be... It could just be something he picked up because he's a creepy aberration. But it's definitely magical. Yeah, 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 for sure. Cool. Uh, that's the case. Zandu will go ahead and cast uh, yes, insinuation on that dog right there. What's thou like to cast it defensively? I don't know why I said it in the old English, but the question is still there. Uh, yeah, that it is within range, isn't it? English. Uh, so yeah, casting defensively. Uh, it's a level 2 spell, whatever that is. Gotcha. So, DC 27, Mr. Psychic Caster. Unless you spend a move action to center yourself. But I already moved, so Correct, I can't yeah. do so, that. So yeah, you can't. So D20 plus cast level plus mod, trying to hit that 27. Okay. That's the one thing I don't like about psychic casters. You, yeah, I stand corrected. 29 is good. You do pass. Yeah. So that is id insinuation. Alrighty. I'm assuming that's a will save. By invading the mind of a creature with your psychic presence, that doesn't sound nice. You can isolate parts of its mind, preventing the target from functioning in a coherent manner. <laughs> the target is confused as long as you concentrate. Deal. Okay. So here's my will save. Plus this. Here we go. 27. That definitely beats the 22 uh, DC. And he shakes it off. Darn. Are you all done? Uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, Kazaha. You feel a little better. Some of the wounds on your body close. Indeed. Is there anything... Is there any more this way that not, we know of? Not right now. There's another... It's essentially another stone shape necessary right there. Okay. So that means we're going back in to help the others. Uh, I would like to move in there and then decide how much farther I'm going to move. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so that's 20 feet. All right, so I can see somebody at 20 feet. Yeah. But the 20, I have to move in there within his 10-foot range to be able well, to you, see Well, you can move here at 15 feet. You see a lot more gugs than you should. Don't panic. Okay, or two, you see a lot of gugs. <laughs> Don't yeah, panic. Yeah, I see a lot of gugs. You should see so, this direction and see that one gug. Again, the map is weird. I cannot see that one gug because of the way the map is behaving. But mechanically, but I can, you see him. I do remember. Yeah. So, uh, I would like to uh, be firing in the melee. Oh, I'd like to throw. That's what I'd like to do. Alrighty. Oh, I'll spend another point. How hurt does this one look? He's got some pieces of it that are hanging out of Underling's hands and mouth. So, not the best. It's. They're kind of like Xandu, uh, he, Charlie X's. I need to write that down because I always forget Charlie X. But he holds his head and yeah, and the gug kind of like blinks awkwardly with eyes that blink probably both horizontally and vertically at the same time and then shakes it off. That's just a heel check to make sure. Does he have buffalo eyes? Kind of. <laughs> They're certainly aberrant. A no. heel check, he's mm, probably like. Three fourths ish damage, maybe closer to like a little less than that. Okay, so I'll probably need to spend another point as well to cast um, the Shocking Grasp as well as right. I throw Sparkling Twilight. Understood. Make it so. 24. I was wanting to have it resolve against flat if I could. Okay. So 
I'm I'm done with flax now. Now, so the question is, is Kazaha have precise shot? Precise shot. For throwing. No, he does not have precise shot. Then it misses, because you're you're technically firing into melee and digging an egg four. So it does kind of like just wing through a couple of his like the bifurcation in his arm and then the bifurcation through his mouth as he like turns, doing no damage as it returns to you. Ah, uh, even to flat, but okay. If that is all right, then. That's what I got. Francis! You're on the ceiling. I think you're under Lucia. Yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah, I had all that time to think, and I'm still not sure what to do. Well, you've got Entanglement on one side. You've got Sleet Storm on the other. Well, I'm feeling pretty safe. Uh, as far as my flanks go, it's it's more I'm trying to figure out how to help Enderling right this second. Not that I feel he really needs it. Alrighty. How do I get in there without getting smacked around? You five, ten, fifteen, twenty put you, and again, you might see some weird stuff. You're technically a square back. I don't see anything. I you're, don't even see myself. You're under Xandu. Oh, that would be why. Mm, strong jaw. I have to touch him to use strong jaw, don't I? That's correct. Then I will move up to the threat range, but not within it. Okay. You've done so. Is that all? Oh yeah, I only have a 20 foot move speed. That's as far as I can get anyway. It is. That's all we're going to poke. I'll cure light wounds. Uh, Kazaha again. All right, I get it. Yeah, that'll be me. I up. question. Uh, question about this creature. Can hold move uh, to move move uh, move uh, through it area and not get hit? Hope can try an acrobatics check. Okay, I will do do that. Alrighty, make it. As I quickly figure out what a capacitor ooze has for that. Yeah. Uh, it, it seems uh, Discord and Wall20 doesn't like like me too today. Well, what a capacitor ooze has for what? I already have the snap block up. What do you want to know? I got it. It's a uh, 23, and you want to... Uh, go through its uh, uh, go through its area using acrobatics. I'm so going. thirty-five. That clears it by quite a bit, actually. As Pogue is able to just like he probably just like you say Assassin's Creed, but I'm going to say Prince of Persia because that's the one where it happens. He kind of just like runs up the wall a little bit. Now you're moving at half speed as you do this. So. Wow, and it wouldn't even be normal. Speed. So if I so if I use double move action, could I move up where Poe is at? at you get right okay, so I would imagine while Poe is doing that, he would say something uh, very, very, very snarky towards Lu Lucia in a hilarious, funny manner. Understood. If that's all, yep, it's the Gug's turn. This Gug is going to take the withdraw action because people are coming to the aid of a friend. Disappears. This Gug is going to take a five foot step back. He can't take the withdraw action because I have to move in a straight line. So he might die horrible. But this guy is off somewhere else where you don't see him. Well, this guy's just gonna fight this if I get full attack anyway. Really so, here comes some d20s. I have to roll really well to hit you. <laughs> this is why we're hiding behind the walls oh. most of the time. And one of them is a natural one. Okay, so this guy grabs the percentage dice while he decides what his monster does. When I roll a 57. Okay. So as this guy backs up, all of those attacks miss, but one of his weird hands, it kind of like, he goes to uppercut. It's strange, because at the same time, that same hand is coming like down in some weird, creepy pincer formation. As he does so, the bone thing gets dislodged from his belt and lands in... I'm gonna... S mouth. Yes. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say Xandu Square, but alright. Enterling's mouth. Got it. That's worse. <laughs> Speaking of Enterling... There's a strange bone thing in your mouth. This guy just I'm gonna it. let it fall out of my mouth as I bite into him. 
<laughs> right. Shake my head for a second. Then it lands. We'll say where the light is. Is where it lands. Oh, I don't disregard that. I pressed the wrong thing. Got it. Everything with uh, might of the north down. Might of the north down, including that natural one. Uh, I'll use a hero point. Is there twenty six connects? That was a bite. I'll reroll connects. that bite. Twenty seven connects. Twenty two. And thirty three connects. Okay, that kills him. <laughs> Dead guard. I don't even have to do the math at this point. I know how much damage you're assigning it around you. This weird bone thing lands in your mouth, and it looks... Upset is... It's kind of hard to describe, because he's very strange, and his his face does not tell of his feelings very well, but he looks like he tries to, like, reach out for it, and you just spit it out, tear him to pieces. If that is all. That is all. Lucia. Okay, so Lucia, she's going to m- move going to she she's she's going to get a get a just get a scroll in front of healing and use it on herself it. the imp can it fly over the ooze yeah it can fly over for sure okay so it's going to fly in uh, fly in the direction where xandu is to see what is going on all right so the imp shows up right around the time that that thing is very destroyed yep he, he would be in birth form Perform the entire time. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, so turn is over. Understood. Xandu, what's up? I actually am going to go ahead and knock combat off here, I think. We're technically at the 10 o'clock mark, but we did start pretty late. I also feel bad for Joe, and Pogue's not here, and he's usually the arbiter of we have to stop early. So I can run for maybe till 11 if you guys are down, if you guys are amenable. If you're not, this is a good place to stop. Well, I think we did at least... Are the Gugs ran off again? Yes. I think we should at least figure out exactly what that little bone object is. Okay. And get some of the magic armor from some of the guys that have fallen. Alrighty. Like, within yeah. our reach. Peel the crap off the Gugs, because they're not going uh, anywhere when they die. So there uh, are... There's, I, uh, I believe, three. Or there's, there's two that have died that you can access. Excuse me. Uh, I am uh, I am stuck in the chamber, right? So can the ooze move for m- can the ooze move for me? Mm. Come yeah. here, Slurpy. And now now that Francis is called for Slurpy, yes, yes, it will move. Does everyone okay. want to move back awesome. into that chamber? Uh, we probably should leave someone in the other chamber. Just uh, I well, I I, don't know. I I command my dragon to be in the other chamber to act like a giant dragon guard dog. Got it. Giant dragon butt plug. <laughs> yeah. Dra- giant dragon guard dog. Lucia so, converts to Zonkathon so, so. worship. So I am going to examine the uh, item. So is that a. Sh- I think that is a. Uh, sh- sh- spellcraft. Am I correct? And the check is up to you. So, I want to examine the items. So, the okay. magic item first. So... That dude's gonna be press the digit... Not press the digitating, detect magic in. Uh, 30... Uh, 30... 33 for... IDing the items and the bone item. I'm going to do knowledge religion to see the item significant, what it is. Alrighty. Uh, generally, bone items... I would say they probably fall fall under religion, probably. Before we go so, any farther, the 33 is enough to identify that the, the two gugs that are dead that you can access both had an amulet of mighty fist, and it has the, uh, oh, I can't think of the name of the enchantment, the impact enchantment, which makes your unarmed strikes do as if one damage die higher. And I love one. Oh. The and belts. Totally the belts what, appear to be. What's the rank for the? It's just a. Just has the. Uh, I just said it. The impact enchantment. It doesn't have an enhancement but, bonus on it. It it does. Oh, it's just that. Oh. Yeah. Um, and the other two, works. the uh, the belt like things are belts of I forget what the descriptive word is, but strength plus six. You get the feeling. You get the feeling that this is how these guys were able to fight as effectively as they were, despite having to cram in a deep crevasse. Now the bone thing—it's definitely a wand. But what it 
does. It kind of escapes you. It Xandu picks up a, a pretty strong transmutation aura on it, but exactly what it does kind of remains to be seen. I'm just rolling. I rolled a 30 to 8, if that makes any difference at all. Understood. On Arcana. Mm, okay, it's a definitely some kind of transmutation effect. You're not sure what. Yeah. Alright, well... Xandu's probably the UMD guy. Uh, I'm I going to... We, uh, I suppose nothing was hurt if we tried to point it at that wall over there and stone shape it. Uh, I think yeah. that's what it is, because I don't know Gugs to do this type of stone shapey stuff. Uh, Tommy, is it possible for me to ID the wand to see what type of uh, type of spell is is on it? I have given you the information you will get from your knowledge checks. Uh, I believe it's spellcraft to identify a spell effect, but you have to see the spell effect to make the spellcraft. There is also a set DC to blindly activate a magic item. Go, finger. So it's a transmutation uh, spell. So could I figure out by its aura what it is? You can try to make a spellcraft check for sure. Okay, I will do do that. Uh, I'm. Uh, I do not know what what it is. Have you used your hero point? We have. Yeah. We have all used yeah. our hero points. They are no and do it not. Yeah. All right, Xander. Uh, okay. So, She's got a natural one. You gonna help her out? Yeah, we're coming close to the end of the session, so we are. Since Joe's sure. since Joe's gone to bed, we'll probably after the okay, one is uh, we'll probably knock off. So 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 Poe is going to uh, going to aid me. So 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 you so, have a plus so four. It's successful. Go ahead and make your yep. reroll. Forty-one. Forty-one. Uh, okay. okay. The, the spell is it's like a mass stone shape. Mass. What? It's Mass. very, like, it, it's not, Whoa. like, X cubic feet. It might be more accurate to say it's stone shape as cast by, like, a level bajillion spellcaster. It's going to transmute oh, t- oh. a lot of walls in a lot of places. Kane, you know what it is? Mm. It's Mick Dickerson's finger. Ah, oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, 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 seeing what it is, I am su- su- surprised by the item power. So yeah, I it's it's tell- very, very powerful. If you were to go sell this, you'd make a whole lot of cheddar. Okay, well, I'm- let's use it to get the hell out of here first. Yes, yes. Uh, let's let do do that. So I'm going to have my dragon d- dimension door t- to east of and and enderling. Alrighty, that means you have four of those remaining. Four. So yep. why I do think we have to put the- back over here? If we know it's a stone shape, don't we have to go that way anyway? Well, Xandu's right. gonna pick it up and uh, generally stone shape in the direction where we were supposed to go before, that diagonal line. Sure. Make a use magic device check, please. Awesome. Kazaha is on the other side of the room. <laughs> I, looking at Kazahan wounds, I would offer him additional cure light uh, potions I have uh, if he willing to accept them. 36 nat 20. Natural 20, that's Woo! well done. Okay, so he goes to cast this and in roll 20 mechanics, the dynamic lighting is disabled and the entire board opens up. Well, I'm going to zoom all the way out. <laughs> all of the gugs are on the board. All of the gugs see you. One of the gugs was behind you and didn't finish his full withdraw action. Oh, good. I did have some dudes trapped in that entangle effect. They weren't actually there. There was just the one. I'm going to zoom out. They were so. trapped in the entangle effect. Give me this. <laughs> everybody can see this. Everybody on YouTube as well can see this horde of gugs. You guys can see there's a staircase right there that appears right, to lead right. upwards. I'll click again right there. Yeah, I still won't see it. I'm yeah, neither do I. I'll keep pinging until something. you guys find it. Ah, there it is. Oh, there. <laughs> you got it. All of these gugs turn. All of these gugs are going to rush you. But from the natural yeah. 20, they are going to go... Actually, 
from the natural 20, and you guys are going to have to help remind me this for next week, there will be a surprise round as all of the gugs are taken immediately by surprise. And we're going to knock off here tonight. So, again, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Colin, it's really great to see you after a couple of weeks. We miss you. Right. And speaking of which, Durr, Colin and Kane and Adam are from a, a wonderful land known as the Inn of Laner Crossroads or the NPR of your Pathfinder information would be another way to put it. They have a thing going on right now over there. They're trying to get to 200 subs, so the Psychic Sorcerer can play a really weird game because I guess people don't like to play serious games and min-max all the time. I, I don't understand people. Anyway, they need 10 more subscribers. Donald, are you subscribed to the Inner Planar Crossroads? Uh, yes. All right, great. Then we can end the session. I don't have to sit here and wait for you to subscribe because I know that the <laughs> other three and myself are. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to say it for like 10 sessions because I feel like an idiot. Fireball is not necromancy. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> say bye, everyone. Did you say bye. that honestly? Bye. Bye. Donald, Donald Adams. Bye. Good enough. <laughs>